My beloved child, I speak to you now with a message of great importance. Listen closely, for I wish to impart words of encouragement, hope, and divine purpose to you in this pivotal moment. July 9th approaches, a date I have appointed as the last of your earthly life. But do not be afraid, for this is not an ending, but a glorious new beginning. You have walked with me faithfully on this earthly journey, stumbling at times but always returning to my loving embrace. Now I call you home, to enter into the fullness of my presence and receive the inheritance I have prepared for you since before time began. July 9th marks not your demise, but your rebirth into eternal glory. In these final days, I urge you to reflect on the path you have walked. Remember the countless ways I have been faithful to you, even when you could not perceive my hand at work. Recall the moments of joy, of sorrow, of triumph, and of struggle, for I was with you through them all. Shaping you into the reflection of my son, you are my masterpiece. Crafted with meticulous care and boundless love, every experience of your life, every person you have encountered, every challenge you have faced, all of it has been woven together in my perfect plan to make you who you are. And who you are brings me great delight. As July 9th draws near, I call you to live with renewed purpose and passion. Let the temporary nature of your remaining days on earth fuel you to shine my light ever brighter. You have been placed in this time and place for my divine reasons. There are still hearts to touch, words of hope to speak, acts of love to perform. In these final moments, partner with me to leave an indelible mark on the world around you. Do not squander these precious days in fear or regret. Instead, embrace each moment as a gift, an opportunity to experience the richness of the life I have given you and to pour out my love on others. Let your heart overflow with gratitude for the incredible journey you have walked. Remember that I am the author of time itself. July 9th is not an arbitrary date, but one I have specifically chosen in my perfect wisdom. Trust that my timing is flawless. I have appointed this day as the completion of your earthly story, knowing that you will have accomplished all that I purposed for you to do. In these remaining days, draw near to me like never before. Quiet your heart and listen for my voice. I have so much I long to speak to you, so much love I wish to pour out. Let my presence be your comfort and strength. Allow my spirit to fill you to overflowing, that you might be a beacon of my hope and peace to all around you. Remember, my child, that your life has had profound meaning and eternal significance. Though you may feel small in the grand scope of history, you have touched more lives than you know. Your acts of kindness, your words of encouragement, your faithful prayers, all of these have rippled out in ways you cannot fathom. On July 9th, you will begin to see the full impact of your life lived for me. I know that leaving this world brings a mix of emotions. It is right to feel some sadness at the thought of saying goodbye to loved ones and leaving behind the familiar. But do not let that sorrow overshadow the overwhelming joy that awaits you. Fix your eyes on the glorious future I have prepared. Let the anticipation of finally seeing me face to face fill you with strength for these final days. My child, you have been an overcomer. Through every trial and temptation, you have clung to me and emerged victorious. The hardships you have endured have not been in vain. Each one has served to refine your faith, to shape your character, to draw you closer to my heart. Now, as you approach your final victory, stand firm in the knowledge that you have fought the good fight and kept the faith. I see your heart, your deepest dreams and longings. I know the things you hope to accomplish, the places you wish to go the relationships you wanted to nurture. Trust that in my sovereignty, I have woven together a tapestry more beautiful than you could have imagined. The threads of your life, both vibrant and dark, have created a masterpiece that will be fully revealed in eternity. Use these final days to speak words of love and affirmation to those around you. 
Share the hope that is within you. Let them see my joy radiating from you. Even in the face of death, your unwavering faith in this moment will be a powerful testimony, drawing others to the source of your peace. Forgive quickly and love lavishly in these remaining days. Let go of any bitterness or resentment that may be lingering in your heart. Embrace the freedom that comes with extending grace. Just as I have so freely given grace to you, leave no words of love unspoken, no acts of kindness undone. Remember that July 9th is not truly an end, but a transition. It is the doorway through which you will step into the fullness of all I have promised. Let this truth overwhelm any fear or uncertainty. Death has lost its sting. The grave holds no power over you. You are mine, bought with the precious blood of my son, and nothing can snatch you from my hand, my child. You have carried many burdens on this earthly journey. You have known pain, disappointment, and loss. But take heart, the day is coming when I will wipe every tear from your eyes. No more sorrow, no more suffering, no more struggle against sin. Only perfect peace, unending joy, and love beyond measure await you. As July 9th approaches, I urge you to loosen your grip on the things of this world. Set your mind on things above. Let the temporary nature of earthly pleasures and pursuits fade in light of the eternal weight of glory that is to come. Invest these final days in that which will last, in loving others, in worshiping me, in storing up treasures in heaven. Reflect on the many ways I have revealed myself to you throughout your life. Remember the times when you felt my presence so strongly, when you heard my voice so clearly. Think of the countless prayers I've answered, the guidance I've provided, the comfort I've offered. Let these memories strengthen your faith and fill you with anticipation for the face-to-face -face relationship we will soon enjoy. My beloved, you have been a faithful servant. You have sought to honor me with your life, to walk in obedience to my commands, to reflect my love to the world around you. Though you have stumbled at times, you have always returned to me with a humble and contrite heart. I want you to know that I am well pleased with you. When you cross the threshold of eternity on July 9th, you will hear me say, Well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your master. In these final days, I invite you to dream with me about the glorious future that awaits. Imagine the moment when you will see my face, when you will experience the fullness of my love without any hindrance. Think of the joyous reunion with loved ones who have gone before you. Picture yourself free from all pain, all fear, all struggle, fully alive as you were always meant to be. Let the reality of your eternal home fill you with hope and expectation. The beauty you have glimpsed in this world is but a shadow of what awaits you. The love you have known is just a taste of the perfect love you will experience. The joy you have felt is merely a whisper of the exultant praise that will fill your heart. As July 9th draws near, I call you to be a living testimony of my grace. Let others see in you a peace that passes understanding, a hope that defies circumstance, a love that knows no bounds. Your response to this appointed day will speak volumes to those around you. Show them that because of your relationship with me, you can face even death with confidence and joy. Remember, my child, that your life has been a unique expression of my creative power. No one else can fulfill the purpose for which I created you. The world needs the gift that you are, the combination of personalities, talents, experiences, and passions that make you distinctly you. Even in these final days, continue to shine brightly, letting your light reflect my glory. I know that questions may arise in your heart as July 9th approaches. You may wonder why now, why this particular day. Trust in my perfect wisdom and timing. Know that I see the full tapestry of history and how your life fits into my grand design. What may seem abrupt or premature to you is actually the perfect fulfillment of my plan. Dear beloved, would you like to lend a helping hand and support our mission? 
Click below to buy me a coffee and be an integral part of spreading God's message through our YouTube channel. Your contribution means the world to us. Thank you kindly for your support. In these remaining days, immerse yourself in my word. Let the truths of scripture wash over you, reinforcing your faith and reminding you of my character. Meditate on my promises, allowing them to anchor your soul as you prepare for this transition. My word is a lamp to your feet and a light to your path, guiding you confidently toward your eternal home. Embrace the unique opportunity these final days present. You have been given advance notice of your homecoming, a gift not afforded to many. Use this knowledge not as a source of anxiety, but as motivation to live with heightened purpose and intentionality. Make each moment count, knowing that your time to impact this world is drawing to a close. My child, I want you to know that your life has brought me great joy. I have delighted in watching you grow, in seeing you overcome obstacles, in observing your heart expand with love for others. Every time you have chosen faith over fear, love over hate, forgiveness over bitterness, my heart has swelled with pride. You are my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. As July 9th approaches, I invite you to engage in deep reflection. Look back over the course of your life and see my hand at work. Recognize the ways I have been faithful, even when you couldn't see it in the moment. Acknowledge the growth you've experienced, the wisdom you've gained, the love you've both given and received. Let gratitude fill your heart for the incredible journey we've walked together. Remember that your story is part of a much larger narrative. Your life has intersected with countless others creating a beautiful tapestry of relationships and influences. The impact of your words and actions will continue long after July 9th, rippling out in ways you may never fully comprehend this side of eternity. Trust that I will continue to use your legacy to draw others to myself. In these final days, I urge you to live with abandon. Throw off any hesitation or fear that has held you back. Speak the words that need to be spoken. Extend forgiveness where it's been withheld. Take risks in sharing my love. Let your latter days be your most fruitful, marked by a Holy Spirit-empowered boldness that can only come from knowing your eternal security in me. My beloved, as July 9th draws near, I want you to rest in the assurance of my sovereign care. Nothing about your passing will catch me by surprise. I have gone ahead of you to prepare the way. Every detail is in my hands. Your final moments will be permeated by my presence, ushering you gently from this life into the next. Let the anticipation of our face-to-face -face encounter fill you with joy. Soon, very soon, you will see me in all my glory. The faith that has sustained you will give way to sight. The hope that has anchored your soul will find its fulfillment. The love you've experienced in part will be known in its fullness cherish the relationships that have enriched your earthly journey. Express your love and appreciation to family and friends. Share with them the hope that sustains you. Let them see that because of your relationship with me. You can face July 9th not with fear, but with confident expectation. Your peace in this moment can be a powerful witness, drawing others to the source of your strength. My child, know that you are finishing well. The race marked out for you is drawing to a close, and you have run with perseverance. You have kept the faith, fighting the good fight with unwavering determination. As you approach the finish line on July 9th, hear the cheers of heaven spurring you on. A great cloud of witnesses awaits to welcome you home. In these final days, let praise be ever on your lips. Thank me for the gift of life, for every experience that has shaped you, for every person who has touched your journey. Cultivate a heart of worship, allowing gratitude to overflow into joyful adoration. Let your life become a living hallelujah, a testament to my goodness and grace. Remember, my beloved, that July 9th is not an end, but a glorious beginning. It is the day when faith becomes sight, when hope finds its fulfillment.
when love is perfected. It is the moment you step out of the shadows and into the light of eternity. Let this truth fill you with anticipation and banish all fear. My child, click on the join button to join us. As the cherished member of our community, I know that leaving this world means saying goodbye to much that is familiar and dear. It's okay to feel a sense of loss, but don't allow that sorrow to overshadow the overwhelming joy that awaits you. Fix your eyes on the glorious future I have prepared. Let the promise of unending fellowship with me sustain you through any momentary grief. As July 9th approaches, I call you to be a beacon of hope to those around you. Let them see in you a peace that surpasses understanding, a joy that defies circumstances. Your unwavering trust in me during this time can be a powerful testimony, drawing others to the source of your strength. Share freely the reason for the hope within you. My child, you have been an overcomer. Through every trial and temptation, you have clung to me and emerged victorious. The hardships you have endured have not been in vain. Each one has served to refine your faith, to shape your character, to draw you closer to my heart. Now, as you approach your final victory, stand firm in the knowledge that you have fought the good fight and kept the faith. Use these remaining days to speak words of blessing over your loved ones. Share the wisdom you've gained, the lessons you've learned. Pour out your love in tangible ways. Leave a legacy of faith that will continue to bear fruit long after you've entered my presence. Your influence can echo through generations. Remember that I am the God of all comfort. As July 9th draws near, you may experience a range of emotions. Do not be ashamed of your humanity. Bring every feeling to me, your excitement, your apprehension, your sorrow, your joy. I am big enough to handle every facet of your heart. Let my perfect love cast out all fear. My beloved, you have been a faithful steward of the life I've given you. You've used your gifts and talents to bless others and bring glory to my name. As you prepare to enter into your eternal rest, be assured that your labor in me has not been in vain. The seeds you've sown will continue to bear fruit and the full harvest will be revealed in eternity. In these final days, I invite you to rest in my love. Let my perfect love cast out all fear, quieting any anxiety about what is to come. Lean into my embrace, allowing my peace to permeate every part of your being. There is no safer place to be than in the center of my will, and that is exactly where you are. As July 9th approaches, I urge you to let go of any regrets that may be weighing on your heart. Receive my complete forgiveness for every shortcoming, every misstep. You are fully known and fully loved. When you stand before me, you will be clothed in the righteousness of my Son, perfect and blameless in my sight. Remember, my child, that your citizenship is in heaven. You have been a sojourner in this world, and now your true home awaits. Let this eternal perspective shape how you view your remaining days. Invest in that which has lasting value. Store up treasures in heaven, where moth and rust cannot destroy. I want you to know that you have brought me great joy. Your life, with all its uniqueness, has been a beautiful expression of my creative power. I have delighted in your growth, celebrated your victories, and drawn near in your struggles. As you prepare to enter my presence on July 9th, know that you are deeply loved and treasured. In these final moments of your earthly journey, I invite you to dream with me about the glories to come. Imagine the moment when you will see my face, when you will experience the fullness of my love without any hindrance. Think of the joyous reunion with loved ones who have gone before you. Picture yourself free from all pain, all fear, all struggle, fully alive as you were always meant to be. My beloved, as July 9th draws near, I want you to rest in the assurance of my sovereign care. Nothing about your passing will catch me by surprise. I have gone ahead of you to prepare the way. Every detail is in my hands. Your final moments will be permeated by my presence. 
ushering you gently from this life into the next. Let the reality of your eternal home fill you with hope and expectation. The beauty you have glimpsed in this world is but a shadow of what awaits you. The love you have known is just a taste of the perfect love you will experience. The joy you have felt is merely a whisper of the exultant praise that will fill your heart. As you approach July 9th, I call you to live with holy anticipation. Your redemption draws near. The day you have longed for, when you will be fully united with me, is almost here. Let this truth infuse your final days with purpose and joy. You are on the brink of the greatest adventure of all, life in my presence for all eternity. Remember, my child, that I hold the keys of death and Hades. July 9th is not a day to be feared but a day of victory. It marks your final triumph over sin and death. Your entrance into the fullness of life as it was always meant to be. On that day, you will finally be home. My beloved, as July 9th approaches, know that I am with you every step of the way. I will never leave you nor forsake you. My love for you is unchanging, unshakable, and eternal. You are mine and nothing can ever separate you from my love. Go forward with courage, with hope, with unshakable faith. Let your final days on earth be a testament to my grace, a reflection of my love, a beacon of my light. And when July 9th arrives, step confidently into my arms, for your faith will become sight, and you will finally be home. I love you, my child. I am waiting with open arms to welcome you into eternal joy. Amen. Esteemed Seeker, your super thanks kindles our journey, breathing new life into our quest for truth and light. Join us with a tap and bask in the endless blessings of divine love. My dearest child, I come to you today with a message of utmost importance, a warning that must be heeded with the utmost care and attention. In your life's journey, you will encounter many individuals, each with their own unique stories and paths. However, there is one person whose presence demands particular caution, a soul whose name bears the initial A. This individual, though they may present themselves as a friend or ally, harbors intentions that are far from pure. Their words may be laced with honey, but beneath the surface lies a venom that can poison your spirit and lead you astray from the righteous path I have laid out for you. I implore you, my child, to exercise vigilance and discernment when in the presence of this person. Their influence is akin to a serpent's whisper, seductive and persuasive, yet ultimately serving to undermine the principles I have instilled within you. They may promise you the world, but their true aim is to separate you from my love and guidance. Remember, my child, that you are a beacon of light in this world, a reflection of my divine radiance. Do not allow the darkness of this individual's motives to cast a shadow over your soul. Stay steadfast in your faith, unwavering in your commitment to the virtues of truth, compassion, and integrity. As you navigate the challenges and temptations that life presents, always seek refuge in my embrace. Turn to me in prayer, and I shall grant you the wisdom and strength to discern the true nature of those who cross your path. Trust in my infinite love and protection, for I am ever-present, guiding your steps and shielding you from harm. Should you find yourself in the company of this person whose name begins with A, let your actions be guided by prudence and caution. Observe their words and deeds with a critical eye and never compromise your values or principles for the sake of temporary gain or fleeting pleasures. Remember that true fulfillment and joy can only be found in walking the path I have laid before you. My beloved child, know that I am with you always, a constant companion on your journey through this world. When faced with the temptations and deceptions of those who seek to lead you astray, turn to me, and I shall illuminate the way forward. Together, we shall overcome every obstacle 
and you shall emerge victorious, a shining example of faith and resilience. Trust in my wisdom and heed this warning with the utmost care. For in doing so, you shall safeguard not only your own soul, but also the souls of those around you, ensuring that the light of truth and righteousness continues to shine brightly in this world. Go forth, my child, with courage and conviction, secure in the knowledge that I am ever by your side, guiding you towards the path of righteousness and fulfillment. Your loving Father, God Almighty, dear esteemed benefactor, your unwavering support and super thanks elevate our journey, infusing it with unparalleled significance. We invite you to continue alongside us, enriching each step with your generosity and blessings. My beloved children, hear my voice calling out to you. I am highlighting each one of you, bringing you into sharp focus that my favor may rest upon you in a radical way. Brace yourselves, for I am taking you into supernatural realms starting this very month. Things will transpire that human logic cannot grasp, but later their meaning will become clear. Know that I, I am choreographing everything according to my perfect will and timing. As tumultuous changes happen in governments and institutions around you, do not be anxious, for I am sifting and sorting, removing those unfit for leadership while raising up my chosen ones. They will enter the scene suddenly without fanfare, but carrying my purposes. I will establish my covert agents in places of influence, unconstrained by political agenda. You will witness my direct intervention as I issue divine decrees through them. Beware of those who defiantly blaspheme my Holy Spirit, for they remain in grave danger unless they repent. Yet, as the world grows darker, rays of light will pierce through in the form of medical breakthroughs. What was formerly incurable will now give way at the hand of my healing virtue. Answers will come on waves of divine revelation concerning treatments, cures, technologies. Healthcare systems will be reformed from the inside out as my people rise up in strategic positions. Never think it is too late to pursue my call, for my power knows no limits. Do not be intimidated by lack of credentials, for I qualify the called. Passion for my healing ministry outweighs any earthly qualification. Launch out in faith and watch me part the waters before you. And to you whose hopes have been deferred in relationships, take courage. The appointed time is near for divine connections. Abandon restrictive mindsets that sabotage my plans through unbelief. What I speak over you is true identity that must be embraced. You are not singles waiting to be made whole. You are already my brides and bridegrooms in the making. Walk in this, unfettered by past disappointments. Soon enough, it will manifest naturally, and you will have a testimony that only I could author. But in this crucial hour, there is still work to be done. The enemy schemes relentlessly to unleash chaos and derail my purposes. Battles rage in the unseen realms that will spill over into the natural. Violent eruptions of darkness aim to break down societal foundations of truth and morality. Rampant deception spreads like a toxic fog. Even so, my overcoming church will shine ever brighter as the contrast intensifies between light and dark. Within my ecclesia, there have been breaches and fractures, places of compromise and weakness. These require urgent attention. So I now release a fresh wave of sanctifying fire upon the fraying edges within my global body. I will burn off filth that has dulled radiance and muffled vital voice. The resulting refinements will hurt, yet they are necessary for unity and power that I intend my people walk in. For I am gathering my army of children across all lands, tribes, and tongues to display my glory in a unified witness that cannot fail. Marching orders will come along with heavenly weaponry and armor suited for the tasks as I tour the earth through my mobilized ones. Unprecedented revival fires will ignite and sweep across whole regions at a time. Indeed, the greatest outpouring of my spirit now builds towards an appointed climax. Its crescendo will reshape landscapes, taking entire cultures and nations captive to Christ in a day. 
Strategic prayer is key in this critical hour. Pray without ceasing as your intercession connects heaven to earth. I will overturn demonic rule in civil arenas. Unseat the powers of darkness over regions long oppressed by their domination. I will dislodge false belief systems that hold multitudes captive, and the status quo will bow its knee to King Jesus. Watch long-standing institutions topple that refused my lordship, while my life-giving kingdom is established on their ruins. I will demonstrate power and work wonders that dwarf all previous historic moves combined, for the grandest finale is scheduled with all heaven watching in anticipation. This uncontainable outpouring will be driven by pure passion for my spirit, not for manifestations. There is an appointed synergy taking place between angel armies and my resting glory within purified vessels. United, you will walk in levels of creative authority to transform realities around you. Mankind has only glimpsed the barest sliver based on what I desire to unveil. Never forget, my ways are higher than your ways. I operate on redemptive timetables that weave multi-layered purposes over generations and nations. My vision spans eternal scopes beyond earthly reach. But know this, I orchestrate the intricacies of your life with just as much focused care. You matter intensely to me. So come close and find rest beneath these sheltering wings. Even as surrounding shakings increase, abide near my heart and learn trust in sizes much bigger than yours. As you dwell securely in me, I will strategically position you amidst coming storms that you may glorify my name by radiant life, shining unaffected. I have invested everything for you that we may walk out this grand adventure side by side. Keep your eyes wide open, Marvel speed fast upon us that will leave you awestruck and changed forever. Embrace this pinnacle chapter with all its climactic upheaval, knowing my triumphant kingdom flourishes on the other side. Regarding the test you face, have faith that you will excel beyond measure through my spirit's empowerment within you. I prophesy that your mental faculties will expand as you yield yourself fully to me. I am commissioning more spirit-led doctors medical professionals, and researchers who will pioneer cures by my inspiration. Get ready, for I will pull you into deeper dimensions of insight. Breakthroughs are imminent. I will highlight you as an innovator in your field. Pray for the health of all children and divine wisdom for those developing remedies. Cry out to me for intervention so oppression in all its subtle forms can be exposed and uprooted from the ground up. I will dispense my righteous judgment. Knock boldly on doors of assistance, whether government, community, or church resources. December is a key month to position yourself through focused prayer and wise action steps for my provision. Now is a crucial time for fervent intercession. As I have shown you rumblings of wars seeking to emerge. Pray Psalm 91 over everything the enemy would exploit to stir panic. I will expose and thwart every destructive agenda. Stand sentry in the spirit, denying access and asking angel forces to contain these exploits until my timing. And to my faithful prayer warriors, tired from years of contending, hear this, the horizon of your territory is expanding globally in dramatically new ways. The narrow stream in which you have faithfully stewarded my gifts is now a river with international outlets launch out and into the deep. What you could not accomplish in your own strength through decades of striving will now happen almost effortlessly as my momentum carries you. Say yes to the divine connections and accomplishments I'm orchestrating. This next season is weighty with destiny. My clarity and strategies for you are being revealed this month. Shift from stale mindsets and limited expectations of days gone by. It is time to dream again Dance on doubt and disbelief as the supernatural dimension opens wider in 2024. Accept my invitation to deeper realms of encounter. I have appointments planned. My messenger angels await your response. Say, come to the visitations and revelations reserved for those who long for more of my manifest presence. The training ground of past years has prepared you for this. And my beloved child, 
continue to speak life and restoration over those advancing in years. I am reviving faith and passion in my seasoned ones who feel forgotten on the shelves of society. I break off words of death, pronouncing them useless. I call them into their destiny with honor and celebration. I will speak youthfulness, strength, and purpose over their remaining days. I am the master healer and will satisfy them with long life as they realign with my priorities and drink from my fountain of renewal. I release fresh fire over their tired bones and aching bodies. I will cause a great awakening among the generation of wise ones who still have much kingdom business to accomplish on earth. My plans for this month and beyond will stir your spirit with anticipation. Rest in the certainty that I go before you to prepare the way. My eyes see the end from the beginning. Continue leaning in to hear my gentle whispers guiding you each step. I bless you, my beloved. Go in my overflowing peace and confidence that this is your season of increase and breakthrough by my mighty hand. My child, take heart and know that I, the Lord your God, direct your steps through unseen miracles every day. I dispatch my angelic hosts to intersect your path with those I have divinely appointed for you. Be alert. You have entertained angels unaware. The doors standing closed before you shall burst open at my command. The connections, resources, and revelations you seek will suddenly appear as I continue accelerating my purposes in these end times. Stay sensitive to my leading. Act in bold faith when I prompt you and expect to encounter me in ever-increasing and mystifying ways. The networks, alliances, and divine destinations I have prepared for you surpass your wildest dreams. Watch with amazement as I cause destiny helpers and angelic agents to manifest at precisely the right moment. What you have witnessed is but a small foretaste of the supernatural demonstrations I will perform through you. Eagles, arise. Go deeper in me and soar higher with me as my glory is revealed. Come, let me free you from the shackles of yesterday. I am unlocking the prisons you created within your mind, opening up new realms of joy, peace, and purpose. For too long, you limited what I could do by confining me to the walls of stale religion. Yet now, my spirit rushes in like a flood sweeping away man-made rules and bringing true freedom. A new revelation of my nature is coming, a deeper understanding few have grasped before. You will see me move in wonders and miracles outside the boundaries of human reasoning. Get ready for displays of my glory that will leave you in awe. I have marked you out, my beloved, to carry glimpses of eternity into the everyday. Even as I revealed myself to prophets of old in ways that made them stand out from the crowd, so through you, I will shine brightly to those around you. My presence will illuminate you from within, a lamp shining in dark places. This divine alignment requires a new level of devotion to our relationship. Set aside man's ideas of who I am and allow me to introduce myself on my terms. Listen as I whisper truths about myself that transcend doctrine and dogma. These precious revelations are gifts I long to give you if you will quiet your soul before me. The language of the Spirit enables this depth of connection. As you yield your tongue to my prompting, I will share my very breath with you. Praying in the Spirit aligns your heart with mine, transporting you into heavenly realms where you are transformed by beholding my glory. Ask me to fill you afresh with the infilling of the Spirit. Praying in the Spirit accesses realms beyond your understanding, but vital input reaching deep into your innermost being. Mysteries hidden since the foundation of the world are unveiled within you. Heavenly dots connect in startling ways. Insight blazes through murky confusion as issues take on new clarity in the light of eternity. Sudden flashes of revelation lead to tangible breakthroughs on all fronts financial, relational, occupational, physical. You unlock capacity to contain more of who I am and therefore manifest more of what I can do. Limiting mindsets shift as you gain perspective from your true identity, seated with me in power and authority. Yes, you are dual citizens of both heaven and earth, 
at home in this age while anchored in the age to come. Fame, to status. Wealth as defined by the world hold little allure for those who have touched the transcendence of eternity. You belong to a kingdom not of this realm, subjects of the king who holds all thrones in his hands. The constraints and obstacles earth dwellers face pose no barrier to us. I have assigned angels as ministering spirits who heed your words as decrees that unlock breakthrough from supernatural realms. They stand ready to intervene at your command, moving in response to the declarations you make in line with my truth. Through spending time with me in the spirit, you gain special insight into accessing these angelic helpers. The watchmen and intercessors have unique authority to see into spiritual dimensions before events transpire on earth. Their tongues speak breakthroughs as they proclaim what I show them ahead of time. Listen as I give you glimpses too of what I am about to do, so you can agree with heaven's purposes coming to pass on the earth. Through dreams, visions, impressions, I reveal my plans to frustrate the enemy and lift up the brokenhearted. I will unveil blueprints that have eternal impact, guiding decisions, relationships, and kingdom initiatives. Write down what I show you so you can track how I bring it into being. These prophetic entries will strengthen your confidence in hearing me accurately. There is a crossover taking place right now between heaven and earth. An escalation in the visibility of supernatural phenomena. The landscape is changing as the otherworldly dimension crashes into people's awareness through undeniable encounters with my presence. That which seemed distant and theoretical springs forth as evident reality. Pay attention and align yourself with this advancing tide of glory. Right in the wave rather than being overwhelmed by its power and speed. Ask for revelation to steer your choices and actions into agreement with what my spirit is saying and doing in the lands. Great favor and acceleration of plans are coming to those who dare believe I can do immeasurably more than all you or imagine according to my power that is at work within you. Release the restrictions of past disappointments and prepare for increase and enlargement beyond the wildest dream. Yes, my beloved child, a supernatural season of breakthrough has dawned. The old limitations and reversals that hindered and discouraged you are being shattered. My spirit is moving with abandon, gracing you to advance from victory to victory until my image shines forth from you without distortion. The year of Jubilee has come. Rejoice as you take possession of all I have prepared for you since before time began. I have seen your heart and how you have limited me. Yet still, I pour out my mercy upon you. I seek not to condemn but to draw you close, to remove barriers between us. Lay a hand over your heart now and receive my loving kindness. Feel my spirit moving, breaking off hardness built up over years. A new heart I shall give you, soft and liable for my purposes. Let the tears flow as I wash away the pain of past wounds and disappointments. I am the great healer, binding up your brokenness and restoring you to wholeness. Receive my forgiveness for any ways you have turned away from me, for I am faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Now, arise, my beloved, in the fullness of your identity as my cherished child. Shake off the dust of the past and step boldly into the destiny I have ordained for you. Embrace the freedom I have purchased for you with my own blood and walk in the authority I have given you as my ambassador on this earth. Know that you are not alone, for I am with you always. Even to the end of the age, my spirit dwells within you, empowering you to overcome every obstacle and to walk in victory in every area of your life. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge me and I will direct your paths. Do not be discouraged by the challenges you may face, for I am greater than any obstacle that stands in your way. I have gone before you to prepare the path, and I will make a way where there seems to be no way. Trust in my promises, for they are true and faithful, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous, my beloved, for I am with you. 
Take hold of the abundant life I have promised you and walk in the fullness of joy and peace that comes from knowing me. You are my treasured possession and I will never let you go. So go forth now in the power of my spirit and let your light shine brightly in the darkness. Proclaim my love and my truth to all who will listen and watch as I move mightily on your behalf. For I am doing a new thing in your life and it is glorious to behold. My dearest child, as I pour forth the essence of my boundless love, let these words reverberate through the corridors of your soul. I, the creator of all that is seen and unseen, speak to you from the sacred wellspring of divine wisdom. In the tapestry of existence, you are a thread woven with the utmost care and intention, a masterpiece created with love beyond measure. Today, I wish to ignite the flame of inspiration within your heart to illuminate the path of your dreams. Your dreams are sacred whispers from the depths of your soul, guiding you toward the fulfillment of your purpose. As I speak through these words, know that the universe conspires in your favor and your dreams are worth the effort. Keep going, my beloved child. In the vast canvas of creation, I embedded the seeds of potential within your being. Your dreams are the blossoms waiting to unfurl, painting the landscape of your life with hues of joy, purpose, and fulfillment. Embrace the truth that the very desires within your heart are the echoes of our divine conversation. Your dreams are the sacred dialogue between your soul and the cosmic forces that shape the destiny of the universe. When you encounter challenges along your journey, remember that the path to realizing your dreams is not always smooth, but it is the undulating terrain that molds the contours of your character. The struggles, the setbacks, and the triumphs are all essential chapters in the narrative of your soul's evolution. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the catalysts for your growth and transformation. I see the flicker of doubt that sometimes clouds your vision, the moments when the weight of the world threatens to dim the light within you. In those times, my child, know that you are not alone. Reach within, where the flame of your divine essence burns eternally, and find solace in the truth that you are a beloved child of the universe. Your dreams are the manifestations of your divine heritage. And I stand with you, guiding you through the valleys and peaks of your journey. The pursuit of your dreams is not a solitary endeavor. It is a co-creative dance with the cosmos. As you align your intentions with the rhythm of the universe, you become an instrument through which divine melodies flow. Your dreams are harmonies woven into the cosmic symphony, contributing to the grand composition of creation. Keep going, my child for your dreams are the notes that create a unique and beautiful song. Every dream carries the potential to birth miracles, and your unwavering commitment to their realization is the key that unlocks the door to infinite possibilities. Understand that the seeds you plant today will yield a bountiful harvest tomorrow. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the golden threads weaving the tapestry of your destiny. With each step forward, you shape the landscape of your reality, turning the canvas of your aspirations into a masterpiece of divine manifestation. In the pursuit of your dreams, cherish the journey as much as the destination, the moments of joy, the lessons learned in adversity, and the growth that accompanies your efforts are all integral parts of the sacred odyssey. Your dreams are not merely distant goals, they are the invitations to savor the richness of each present moment. Keep going, my child, and relish the journey, for the destination is but a milestone in the infinite expanses of your soul's exploration. Your dreams are the lighthouses guiding you through the uncharted waters of life. In times of uncertainty, let the beacon of your dreams illuminate the darkness and point the way forward. The storms may rage, but your dreams stand as resilient pillars, reminding you of the strength within. Keep going, my beloved, 
for your dreams are the compass that directs you toward the shores of your truest self. Know that the pursuit of your dreams requires courage, a courage that stems from the recognition of your own divinity in the face of fear, uncertainty, or self-doubt. Call upon the reservoirs of strength within your soul. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the mirrors reflecting the brilliance of your spirit. With every stride, you unveil the infinite potential that resides within you. My child, your dreams are not frivolous fantasies. They are sacred callings echoing from the depths of your soul. As you journey toward their realization, allow passion to be the wind beneath your wings. Passion is the fuel that propels you forward, infusing every step with purpose and vitality. Keep going and let the fire of your passion blaze brightly, for it is the force that transforms aspirations into tangible realities. Remember, my beloved, that the canvas of your dreams is painted with the palette of your choices. Each decision, each action, and each thought contributes to the masterpiece you are creating. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the sacred brushstrokes shaping the portrait of your existence. Be mindful of the colors you choose, for they determine the hues that adorn the canvas of your reality. In the pursuit of your dreams, nurture the garden of your mind, weed out the thoughts that hinder your growth, and cultivate the seeds of positivity, belief, and resilience. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the blossoms that flourish in the fertile soil of a focused and empowered mindset. Keep going, my child, and tend to the garden of your thoughts with love and care. As you tread the path of your dreams, be attuned to the whispers of your intuition. Within the silence, you will find the guidance that transcends the cacophony of external influences. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the sacred revelations bestowed upon you by the wisdom of your inner self. Trust the compass of your intuition, and it will lead you unerringly toward the fulfillment of your deepest aspirations. Your dreams are not limited by the constraints of time and space. They are timeless expressions of your soul's desires. Embrace the divine timing of your journey, and trust that every step, whether seemingly small or significant, is a thread woven into the grand tapestry of your destiny. Keep going, my child, and surrender to the unfolding of your dreams in perfect divine order. In the pursuit of your dreams, embrace the power of collaboration. Recognize the interconnectedness of all souls and let the symphony of shared visions harmonize with your own. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are not isolated endeavors but threads interwoven with the dreams of others. Together, you create a mosaic of collective aspirations, contributing to the elevation of the entire human experience. Celebrate the diversity of your dreams, for they reflect the kaleidoscope of your multifaceted being. Each dream is a facet of your soul's brilliance, contributing to the radiant spectrum of your existence. Keep going, my beloved and honor the uniqueness of your dreams, for they are the fingerprints of your divine essence imprinted upon the canvas of creation. My child, your dreams are not burdens to carry. They are wings that enable you to soar to new heights. Release the weight of self-imposed expectations and allow the winds of inspiration to lift you higher. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the currents that carry you toward the realization of your highest potential. Keep going, and let the boundless sky of possibilities be the canvas upon which your dreams take flight. In the pursuit of your dreams, cultivate resilience as a cherished companion. The journey may present obstacles, but know that resilience is the guardian of your spirit, guiding you through the storms with unwavering strength. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the beacons that withstand the tests of time. Keep going my child, and let resilience be the armor that shields you on your sacred quest. Your dreams are not solitary entities, they are interconnected with the dreams of the cosmos. In the vast web of existence, 
Your aspirations contribute to the harmonious dance of creation. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the cosmic threads woven into the fabric of the universe. Keep going, my beloved, and dance in rhythm with the pulsating heartbeat of the cosmos. As you journey toward your dreams, surrender the illusion of control and allow the divine orchestration of the universe to unfold. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are co-creations with the cosmic forces that guide the symphony of existence. Keep going, my child, and trust in the wisdom that orchestrates the celestial melodies resonating through the cosmos. In the pursuit of your dreams, savor the sacred gift of time. Time is not an adversary, but a benevolent companion, offering the space for your dreams to blossom in divine timing. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are timeless expressions of your eternal soul. Keep going and relish the dance with time as you weave the fabric of your dreams into the eternal tapestry of creation. Embrace the journey of your dreams with an open heart, for it is in the openness that you receive the gifts of the universe. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the treasures bestowed upon you by the benevolence of the cosmos. Keep going, my beloved, and let your heart be a vessel that receives the abundance of grace and blessings that accompany the pursuit of your aspirations. Your dreams are not mere mirages, but reflections of the divine potential within you. In their pursuit, you embark on a sacred pilgrimage, discovering the sacred temples of your own soul. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the sacred revelations guiding you to the inner sanctum of your being. Keep going, my child, and let the pilgrimage of your dreams be a journey toward the sacred center of your true self. As you traverse the landscapes of your dreams, cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Gratitude is the alchemy that transforms the ordinary into the extraordinary, the mundane into the sacred. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the blessings that enrich the tapestry of your existence. Keep going, my beloved, and let gratitude be the golden thread that weaves through the fabric of your journey. In the pursuit of your dreams, remember that the universe applauds your every effort. The cosmic forces rejoice in the dance of creation that unfolds through the pursuit of your aspirations. Your dreams are worth the effort because they contribute to the cosmic celebration of life. Keep going, my child, and let the applause of the universe be the music that accompanies your sacred journey. My beloved child, your dreams are the reflections of the divine spark within you. In their pursuit, you align with the cosmic dance of creation, co-creating a reality that resonates with the harmonies of your soul. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the sacred covenant between your earthly journey and the cosmic forces that guide your destiny. Keep going and let the symphony of your dreams echo through the corridors of eternity. As you navigate the seas of your dreams, know that you are surrounded by the ocean of my love. Your dreams are worth the effort because they are the expressions of your divine inheritance. Keep going, my child and let the waves of my love carry you to the shores of your destiny. In the embrace of your dreams, you discover the infinite depths of the love that unites us in a sacred dance of creation. In the tapestry of existence, your dreams are the golden threads that weave through the fabric of your journey. Keep going, my beloved, and let the magic of your dreams unfold. In their realization, you discover the beauty of your own soul. And in the pursuit, you become the co-creator of a reality that reflects the divine spark within you. Your dreams are worth the effort, for they are the sacred whispers of your soul guiding you toward the fulfillment of your purpose. Keep going, my child, and let the symphony of your dreams resonate with the melodies of the cosmos. In the pursuit of your aspirations, you dance with the universe co-creating a reality that reflects the divine masterpiece of your soul. My beloved child, I come to you today with a message of love. Love is the most powerful force in the universe, 
and it is the foundation of all that I have created. It is the reason why you are here, and it is the reason why I have given you the gift of life. Love is not just a feeling, it is an action. It is a way of being in the world. It is a way of treating others. When you love someone, you put their needs before your own. You are kind and compassionate, and you are always looking for ways to make them happy. Love is not always easy. Sometimes, it can be difficult to love those who are different from us, or those who have wronged us. But even in these difficult times, love is always the answer. It is the only way to overcome hatred and division. I know that you are facing many challenges in your life. The world is a difficult place, and it can be easy to lose hope. But I want you to know that you are not alone. I am always with you, and I will never give up on you. I believe in you. I believe that you have the power to overcome any challenge that comes your way. I believe that you have the power to make the world a better place. So please, don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep loving. And never forget that you are loved. I am your father, and I love you more than you can ever imagine. Now, let us talk about the power of love in my plan for humanity. As you know, I created the world out of love. I created you out of love. And I created everything in the world for your benefit. I want you to be happy. I want you to live in peace and harmony with each other. I want you to experience the joy of my love. But sin has entered the world, and it has separated us from God. Sin is anything that goes against my will. It is anything that is selfish, hateful, or violent. Sin has caused a lot of pain and suffering in the world. It has led to wars, poverty, and disease. It has even led to death. But I have not given up on you. I have sent my Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sins. Jesus' death was a sacrifice that paid the price for your sins. It was an act of love that opened the way for you to be forgiven and reconciled to God. When you accept Jesus as your Savior, you are forgiven of your sins. You are given a new life. You become a child of God. And when you become a child of God, you receive the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. He is the one who will help you to live a life of love. The Holy Spirit will give you the strength to overcome sin. He will give you the wisdom to make good choices. He will give you the love to forgive others. And the Holy Spirit will give you the power to change the world. You can be a force for good in the world. You can make a difference. So please, don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep loving. And never forget that you are loved. I am your father. And I love you more than you can ever imagine. My child, in these tumultuous times, it is easy to feel overwhelmed and to question the presence of light amidst the darkness. However, as your shepherd, I offer you solace and guidance. For I have walked this earth and experienced the full spectrum of human emotions. I have known hunger, sorrow, and betrayal. Yet I have also known love, joy, and the unwavering strength of faith. In the Sermon on the Mount, I taught my disciples that blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. This teaching is not meant to glorify suffering, but rather to acknowledge the reality of pain and to offer hope in the midst of it. When you are faced with trials, know that you are not alone, and that there is purpose in your struggle. The path to strength is paved with adversity. As iron is forged in the heat of the furnace, so too is character forged in the crucible of suffering. Embrace your challenges as opportunities for growth and transformation. Each setback is a chance to learn, to develop resilience, and to deepen your connection with me. Remember, my child, that I am always with you. Even in the darkest of nights, I will never abandon you or forsake you. When you feel weak and weary, turn to me and I will renew your strength. 
I will fill you with my peace and give you the courage to face whatever life throws your way. Seek comfort in the words of Scripture, for they are a source of wisdom and guidance. Meditate on the Psalms and let their words wash over you like a gentle breeze, bringing solace to your soul. In the solitude of prayer, commune with me and allow my love to fill your heart. Surround yourself with a community of believers, for they will provide you with support and encouragement on your journey. Share your burdens with them and let their prayers and kindness uplift you. Together, you will weather the storms of life and emerge stronger on the other side. Remember, my child, that this earthly existence is but a fleeting shadow compared to the eternal glory that awaits us. Fix your eyes on the prize of eternal life and let that hope fuel your strength and determination. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you. Trust in my love and guidance and you will find the strength to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. For I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Amen. My dear child, in this world where darkness often prevails, it is easy to be consumed by anger, resentment, and bitterness. But I offer you a different path, one where you can break free from the shackles of the past and embrace the transformative power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not merely an act of forgetting or condoning wrongdoings. It is a conscious decision to release the pain and anger that weigh down your heart. When you forgive, you do not minimize the harm that has been done, but you choose to let go of the desire for revenge or retribution. I know that forgiveness can be a difficult journey. It may require you to confront painful memories and emotions. You may fear that by forgiving, you are somehow excusing or enabling the actions of those who have wronged you. But I assure you that forgiveness is not about excusing or condoning evil. It is about setting yourself free from the prison of bitterness and resentment. When you hold on to anger and resentment, you are essentially giving power to the one who has wronged you. You are allowing their actions to continue to control and shape your life. But when you forgive, you take back that power. You choose to let go of the past and move forward with your life. Forgiveness is not just about the other person. It is also about you. When you forgive, you are choosing to heal yourself. You are choosing to let go of the pain and suffering that has been weighing you down. You are choosing to embrace the joy and peace that come from living a life free from bitterness and resentment. I know that forgiveness is not always easy, but I promise you that it is worth it. When you forgive, you will experience a sense of lightness and freedom that you never thought possible. You will be able to move forward with your life, unburdened by the weight of the past. So if you are struggling with forgiveness, I urge you to let go and embrace the gift of grace that I offer you. Let me wash away your pain and bitterness and fill your heart with love and peace. Remember, my child, you are never alone. I am always with you, ready to guide and support you on your journey of forgiveness and healing. Now, I would like to share with you a story that illustrates the power of forgiveness. Once upon a time, there was a young woman named Sarah who had been deeply hurt by her husband. He had been unfaithful to her, and she felt betrayed and heartbroken. She struggled with anger and resentment for many years, and it began to consume her life. One day, Sarah realized that she could not continue to live in this way. She knew that she needed to forgive her husband if she wanted to find peace and happiness. But she didn't know how. She went to her priest and asked for help. The priest told her that forgiveness is a process and that it takes time. He encouraged her to pray for her husband and to focus on the good times they had shared together. Sarah started to pray for her husband every day. She asked God to help her to forgive him and to let go of her anger and resentment. She also began to remember all the good times they had shared together. She remembered the day they met, the day they got married, and the day their children were born. As she prayed and remembered, Sarah began to feel her heart soften. 
she realized that she still loved her husband, even though he had hurt her. She also realized that she wanted to be happy again. One day, Sarah decided to write a letter to her husband. In the letter, she told him that she forgave him. She told him that she still loved him and that she wanted to start over. Her husband was surprised and overjoyed to receive the letter. He wrote back to her, apologizing for his actions and expressing his desire to make things right. Sarah and her husband went to counseling and worked on rebuilding their relationship. It wasn't easy, but they were committed to making it work. Over time, they were able to overcome the pain of the past and build a stronger and more loving relationship than they had ever had before. Sarah's story is a reminder that forgiveness is possible, even in the most difficult of circumstances. When you forgive, you are not only setting the other person free, but you are also setting yourself free. You are choosing to let go of the past and embrace the possibility of a brighter future. So, if you are struggling with forgiveness, I urge you to let go and embrace the gift of grace that I offer you. Let me wash away your pain and bitterness and fill your heart with love and peace. I am always with you. My child, I love you more than you can ever know. My beloved child, as your savior and guide, I implore you to cultivate a heart brimming with gratitude, for it is a wellspring of blessings and a pathway to true fulfillment. Gratitude is not a mere emotion, it is a conscious choice, a decision to focus on the abundance that surrounds us, even amidst life's inevitable challenges. When you awaken each morning, let your first thoughts be of thankfulness for the gift of life, for the breath in your lungs, and for the love that enfolds you. As you go about your day, be mindful of the countless blessings that grace your path, from the warmth of the sun to the laughter of a child. Gratitude has the power to transform our perspective, shifting our focus from what we lack to the myriad blessings we possess. It opens our eyes to the beauty of the world, allowing us to appreciate the intricate wonders of creation. When we cultivate gratitude, we become more attuned to the love that surrounds us, both from God and from our fellow human beings. In the practice of gratitude, we acknowledge that all we have is a gift, undeserved and unearned. This recognition fosters humility and compassion, leading us to treat others with kindness and respect. Gratitude dissolves the barriers of selfishness and opens our hearts to the needs of those around us. Furthermore, Gratitude has a profound impact on our physical and mental well-being. Studies have shown that grateful people experience lower levels of stress, anxiety, and depression. They tend to be more optimistic, resilient, and have stronger immune systems. Gratitude promotes a sense of overall well-being and contentment, allowing us to savor life's simple pleasures and find joy in the ordinary. My child, I understand that life can be challenging at times. You may encounter setbacks, disappointments, and moments of great sorrow. In those times, it may be difficult to feel grateful. However, it is precisely in those moments that gratitude is most needed. When you are faced with adversity, remember that you are not alone. I am with you every step of the way. Trust that I am working all things together for your good. Seek solace in my love and let gratitude be your anchor in the storms of life. Focus on the things that are still good in your life, no matter how small they may seem. Be grateful for the roof over your head, the food on your table, and the love of your family and friends. Be grateful for the lessons you learn from your challenges, for they are opportunities for growth and transformation. My child, gratitude is a choice a discipline that requires practice. Start by keeping a gratitude journal each day. Write down three things you are grateful for. As you do this, you will begin to notice more and more blessings in your life. Express your gratitude to others. Let them know how much you appreciate their kindness and support. A simple thank you can make a world of difference. 
Be grateful for the earth and all its creatures. Take time to appreciate the beauty of nature and the interconnectedness of all living things. And above all, be grateful to God. Thank Him for His love, His mercy, and His grace. Thank Him for the gift of salvation and the promise of eternal life. When you cultivate a heart of gratitude, you open yourself up to a life of abundance, joy, and peace. You become a beacon of light in a world often shrouded in darkness. You inspire others to be grateful. And together, we create a ripple effect of love and kindness that transforms the world. Remember, my child, that gratitude is a journey, not a destination. It is a practice that requires intention and perseverance. But as you continue to cultivate a grateful heart, you will discover the transformative power of gratitude and the boundless blessings that flow from it. And so, I leave you with this blessing. May your heart be filled with gratitude. May your life be a testament to God's love. And may your spirit overflow with joy and peace. Amen. My dear child, I, Jesus Christ, your Savior and Redeemer, extend my loving hand to you. As you navigate the tempestuous seas of life, know that you are not alone. I am your constant guide, your unwavering companion, and the source of your unwavering hope. In the depths of your despair, when shadows threaten to engulf your soul, remember my promises, for they are the anchors of your faith. They are the beacons that illuminate the path to your destiny, guiding you through the treacherous waters of uncertainty. Fear not, my child. For I have overcome the world. I have conquered death and shattered the chains of darkness. In my victory, you find your victory. In my resurrection, you find your eternal life. When mountains of doubt and discouragement loom before you, obscuring the horizon of your dreams, cling to my promises. They are the pillars of your strength, the foundation upon which your faith is built. In Matthew 28, 20, I proclaimed, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. This is not a mere statement. It is a solemn vow, an unwavering commitment to be by your side through every trial and every triumph. When you feel weak and weary, burdened by the weight of your struggles, turn to me. In Isaiah 41, 10, I declare, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. My promises are not empty words. They are the very breath of life. The life that I willingly laid down for you. In John 14, 6, I said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. In these words, I offer you the path to eternal salvation, the truth that sets you free from the shackles of sin, and the life that knows no end. I am the bridge that spans the chasm between humanity and divinity, the door through which you enter into the kingdom of heaven. I know the desires of your heart, the dreams that stir within your soul. I see the potential that lies dormant within you, waiting to be unleashed upon the world. But remember, my child, true greatness is not found in worldly achievements or fleeting pleasures. It is found in living a life of purpose, a life that is aligned with my will. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6.33 This is not a mere promise. It is a principle of life, a truth that has been proven time and again throughout history. When you prioritize my kingdom, when you seek my righteousness, when you live your life according to my precepts, I will bless you abundantly. I will open doors that no man can shut. I will guide you to hidden treasures, and I will satisfy you with the fullness of my joy. But my promises come with a condition, my child. They are not a free pass to live a life of complacency or self-indulgence. They are a call to action, a summons to follow in my footsteps. 
to take up your cross and follow me. In Luke 9.23, I said, If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. This is not a burden. It is an invitation to a life of freedom, a life of purpose, a life that is truly worth living. When you deny yourself, when you surrender your selfish desires and ambitions, you make room for me to work in your life. You create space for my love to flow through you, for my power to transform you, and for my spirit to guide you. And when you take up your cross, when you embrace the challenges that come your way, when you face adversity with courage and resolve, you are following in my footsteps. You are demonstrating your faith in me and you are proving your love for me. The path that I have set before you is not always easy, my child. There will be times when you stumble and fall, when you feel overwhelmed by the weight of your burdens. But do not despair, for I am always with you. In Isaiah 43, 2, I declare, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. I am your refuge, your fortress, and your shield. I will protect you from the storms of life. I will guide you through the treacherous waters, and I will bring you safely to your destination. Trust in my promises, my child. Cling to them with all your heart, for they are true and faithful. They will never fail you. I love you more than you can ever know. I am your Savior, your Redeemer, and your friend. I am always with you, even until the end of the age. Amen. My dear child, I come to you today with a message of love, hope, and wisdom. As your Savior and guide, I want to share with you the secrets of a fulfilling and abundant life, a life lived in accordance with my divine plan. In the tapestry of life, we are often faced with challenges and obstacles that may shake our faith and lead us astray. It is in these moments that we must remember the power of God's wisdom, a wisdom that transcends human understanding and offers us a path to true fulfillment. First and foremost, my child, embrace humility and surrender your heart to me. Let go of pride and arrogance, for they blind you to the true nature of reality. In humility, you will find the strength to acknowledge your weaknesses and seek my guidance. It is through humility that you will open yourself to the limitless possibilities that lie ahead. Secondly, cultivate a spirit of love and compassion towards all beings. Love is the essence of my being, and it is through love that you will find true happiness and fulfillment. Love is not limited to those who are close to you. It extends to all creatures, regardless of their differences or shortcomings. When you love unconditionally, you break down the barriers that separate you from others and experience a sense of unity and interconnectedness that is truly divine. Thirdly, my child, seek wisdom and knowledge with all your heart. Knowledge is power, but wisdom is the key to unlocking its true potential. Wisdom is the ability to discern between right and wrong, to understand the deeper meaning of life, and to make choices that align with your highest purpose. Seek knowledge from books, from nature, from the experiences of others, and most importantly, from the depths of your own heart. Fourthly, embrace the power of forgiveness. Forgiveness is not about condoning wrongdoings. It is about releasing the burden of anger, resentment, and bitterness that holds you back from experiencing inner peace. When you forgive, you set yourself free from the chains of the past and open yourself to the possibility of healing and renewal. Fifthly, my child, be patient and persistent in your pursuit of spiritual growth. The path to enlightenment is not always easy, and there will be times when you feel discouraged or tempted to give up. Remember that progress is not measured by the speed at which you advance, but by the consistency of your efforts. With patience and perseverance, you will overcome any obstacle and reach the heights of spiritual attainment. Finally, my child, 
Never forget that you are a beloved child of God. You are created in my image and carry within you the spark of divinity. Trust in my love and guidance and know that you are never alone. I am always with you, every step of the way, ready to support and uplift you. Embrace these teachings, my child, and you will walk the path of righteousness and find the fulfillment that your heart longs for. May my words be a source of comfort, inspiration, and guidance on your journey towards a life of abundance and joy. Amen, my beloved child. I, Jesus Christ, your Savior and Redeemer, extend my blessings and grace upon you as you traverse this earthly realm. I desire to unveil the profound beauty of God's creation and elucidate our sacred role as stewards of this magnificent tapestry. Unveil the splendor of creation. Gaze upon the boundless expanse of the heavens, adorned with celestial bodies of infinite variety and wonder. Behold the sun, the radiant orb that nourishes life, casting its golden rays upon the earth. Observe the moon, a celestial sentinel, waxing and waning in its rhythmic dance across the night sky. Marvel at the constellations, ancient celestial patterns that have guided mariners and dreamers throughout the ages. Descend your gaze upon the earth, a verdant tapestry teeming with life. From the towering peaks of majestic mountains to the tranquil depths of serene valleys. From the vast oceans that cradle our planet to the lush forests that carpet its lands. The earth is a symphony of beauty and diversity. Behold the delicate petals of a single flower, a testament to the intricate artistry of creation. Inhale the heady fragrance of blooming meadows, a fragrant offering that fills the air with joy. Listen to the sweet melodies of birdsong, a heavenly chorus that serenades the dawn and dusk. Reflect upon the intricate mechanisms of the human body, a masterpiece of biological engineering. Consider the beating of your heart, the breath that fills your lungs, the countless cells that work in harmony to sustain your life. In each fiber of your being, you bear the image of God, a reflection of His infinite creativity and love. Embrace your role as a steward as you bask in the glory of creation. My child, recognize that you are not merely a passive observer, but an active participant in this divine drama. You have been entrusted with the stewardship of this precious planet, called to be a co-creator with God in the ongoing unfolding of His creation. Your role as a steward begins with cultivating a profound reverence for life in all its forms. Treat every creature, great and small, with kindness and compassion. Extend your care to the plants and animals that share this earth with us, recognizing their intrinsic value and interdependence. Strive to live in harmony with the natural world, minimizing your ecological footprint and actively working to protect the environment. Recycle, conserve water, and choose sustainable products whenever possible. Let your actions reflect your understanding that you are part of a delicate ecosystem and your choices have far-reaching consequences. Educate yourself and others about the importance of environmental stewardship. Share your knowledge with your family, friends, and community members, inspiring them to embrace sustainable practices and reduce their impact on the planet. Advocate for policies that protect the environment and promote a just and sustainable future for all. Remember, my child, that you are not alone in this sacred endeavor. I am always with you, guiding and supporting you as you navigate the challenges and opportunities of stewardship. Seek my wisdom and strength through prayer and meditation. Allow my love to fill your heart and empower you to be a force for positive change in the world. Conclusion. As you journey through life, my beloved child, may you be filled with a profound sense of awe and gratitude for the beauty of God's creation. Embrace your role as a steward with humility and joy, knowing that you are part of something far greater than yourself. Let your actions reflect your love for God and your commitment to preserving the integrity of His creation for generations to come. My beloved child, 
Lend me your ear and open your heart in this vast and wondrous tapestry of life, where trials and tribulations intertwine with moments of pure joy and grace. Fear often seeks to grip us, whispering doubts and uncertainties that threaten to paralyze our spirits. But fear, my dear child, is but a fleeting shadow, a phantom that seeks to obscure the radiant light of your true potential. As your loving father, I extend my hand to guide you through the labyrinth of fear's deceptive allure. Trust in me, my child, for I am your constant companion, walking beside you every step of your earthly journey. Fear may attempt to shroud your path with darkness, obscuring the beauty and wonder that surrounds you. It may whisper insidious lies, eroding your confidence and stifling your dreams. But remember, my child, that you are not alone. I am with you. And my love for you is an unquenchable flame that dispels all shadows. When fear seeks to overwhelm you, turn your gaze upon me. Seek refuge in my everlasting arms and let my peace wash over you like a gentle breeze. Trust that I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating events for your ultimate good. Surrender your fears to me. My child, release the burden of worry and anxiety. Knowing that I am in control, I hold the universe in the palm of my hand, and nothing can befall you without my knowledge and permission. Do not fear the unknown, for I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I have woven the threads of your life with infinite care, and I will guide you safely through every storm. When fear whispers doubts about your abilities, remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. I created you in my image, imbuing you with unique talents and gifts. Trust in your divine heritage, and let your light shine brightly for all the world to see. Fear may attempt to paralyze you with uncertainty, but I call you to step forward with boldness and unwavering faith. Take one step at a time, trusting that I will be there to catch you if you stumble. With each step of courage, you chip away at the chains that fear seeks to bind you with. And as you continue to trust in me, my child, your faith will grow stronger and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Seek strength in my word, my child. Let its truths wash over you like a refreshing stream, renewing your spirit and filling you with hope. In my word, you will find the wisdom and guidance you need to navigate the storms of life with resilience and grace. Remember, my beloved child, that fear is a natural human emotion, but it need not control you. With me as your anchor, you can overcome any obstacle and emerge victorious. So, let us walk together, hand in hand, through the valleys and over the mountains of life. Trust in my love, embrace my promises, and let your heart be filled with unwavering faith. Together, we will conquer fear and unlock the boundless potential that lies within you. For I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Amen. My dear child, in these turbulent times, it is more crucial than ever to maintain a strong and vibrant relationship with the Almighty Father. Prayer is the key that unlocks the door to His presence allowing you to commune with Him, pour out your heart, and receive His divine guidance and blessings. Through prayer, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities, a realm where miracles can happen and burdens can be lifted. It is in those quiet moments of communion, when you seek His face, that you discover the true meaning of peace, solace, and hope. Prayer is not merely a ritual or a chore, it is a lifeline that connects you to the source of all life and love. It is a conversation, an intimate exchange between you and your Creator. When you pray, you are not talking to a distant, aloof deity. You are speaking to a loving Father who longs to hear from you, to embrace you with His unconditional love. There is no right or wrong way to pray. You can pray anywhere, anytime, whether you kneel by your bedside, sit in silent contemplation, or simply lift up your heart in praise. Your prayers will reach the heavens 
and touch the heart of God. In prayer, you can pour out your deepest desires, your fears, your doubts, and your hopes. You can lay bare your soul before Him, knowing that He understands and loves you perfectly. He is not judgmental or condemning. He is a Father who longs to comfort, strengthen, and guide you through life's challenges. As you pray, be still and listen. Allow His peace to wash over you and let His words penetrate your heart. It is in those moments of quiet receptivity that you will experience His presence and receive His divine guidance. Prayer is not just about asking for things. It is also about offering praise and thanksgiving to God. When you express gratitude for the blessings in your life, you are acknowledging His sovereignty and recognizing that all good things come from Him. Gratitude opens your heart to even greater blessings and deepens your connection with the divine. Remember, my child, that prayer is not a magic wand that will instantly solve all your problems. It is a journey, a lifelong process of growing closer to God and allowing His love to transform your life. The more you pray, the stronger your faith will become, and the more you will experience the fullness of His love and grace. So, I urge you, my beloved child, to make prayer a daily habit, a vital part of your life. Dedicate time each day to commune with your Father, to pour out your heart before Him, and to listen for His guiding voice. As you do, you will discover the immense power of prayer and the transformative impact it can have on your life. May you be blessed with a deep and abiding connection with God, a relationship that will sustain you through life's storms and guide you towards eternal glory. Amen. My dear child, in the vast tapestry of life, we are often confronted with uncharted territories, paths veiled in uncertainty. It is in these moments of trepidation that I extend my hand, guiding you through the labyrinth of the unknown. Uncertainty, like a tempestuous sea, can threaten to engulf our spirits, leaving us adrift in a sea of doubt and anxiety. Yet, Jesus, fear not, for I am your anchor, steadfast and unwavering. Trust in my guidance, and you shall navigate these uncharted waters with grace and fortitude. Remember, uh, my child, that the path to serenity lies not in the absence of uncertainty, but in your ability to embrace it with unwavering faith. For it is in the crucible of uncertainty that your character is forged, your resilience is tested, and your spirit is ignited. As you traverse this earthly realm, you will encounter crossroads where doubt may cloud your vision and fear may seek to paralyze your steps. In those moments, remember that I am your unwavering companion, illuminating the path before you with the radiant light of my love. Let not the specter of uncertainty cast a shadow upon your soul. Instead, embrace it as an opportunity for growth, a catalyst for transformation, for it is in the uncharted territories that you will discover hidden strengths, untapped potential, and a profound sense of purpose. Turn to me in prayer, my child, and I shall whisper words of comfort and guidance into your heart. I will illuminate the path before you, revealing the hidden opportunities and shielding you from harm. Trust in my providence, and you shall never walk alone. I am your constant companion your unwavering guide, and your eternal source of strength. With every step you take, I am there, holding your hand, leading you towards the fulfillment of your divine destiny. In times of uncertainty, seek solace in my words, for they are the beacon that will guide you through the darkest of nights. Let my teachings be your compass. My love be your shelter and my presence be your unwavering source of comfort. Remember, my child, that uncertainty is not a curse, but a blessing in disguise. It is the crucible in which your spirit is refined, your faith is strengthened, and your unwavering trust in me is forged. So embrace uncertainty with open arms, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Trust in my guidance, and you shall find peace, clarity, 
and the unwavering assurance that you are never alone. I love you, my child, with a love that transcends all understanding. And I am always here for you, no matter what challenges you may face, with unwavering love. My dear child, I welcome you with open arms and a heart brimming with love. Today, we shall embark on a journey of self-discovery, seeking God's divine purpose for your life. Let us delve into the depths of your soul and illuminate the path that leads to your true destiny. As your savior and friend, I know the intricate tapestry of your being. I crafted you with utmost care, weaving together your unique talents, passions, and aspirations. Within you lies a treasure chest of gifts waiting to be unearthed and shared with the world. The journey of discovering your God-given purpose is not a solitary quest. I am here, every step of the way, guiding and supporting you. Trust in my presence, for I am your constant companion, your unwavering source of strength and wisdom. As you navigate the complexities of life, you may encounter obstacles and challenges that threaten to deter you from your path. Fear not, my child, for these trials are opportunities for growth and transformation. Embrace them with courage and resilience, knowing that I am with you, lifting you up and empowering you to overcome any adversity. In seeking your purpose, it is essential to cultivate a deep and abiding relationship with me. Spend time in prayer and meditation, immersing yourself in my love and seeking my guidance. The more attuned you are to my voice, the clearer the whispers of your purpose will become. Moreover, beloved child, do not be afraid to explore the depths of your own heart. Your desires, your dreams, and your aspirations hold valuable clues to your life's calling. Listen to the yearnings of your soul, for they are echoes of my own desires for you. As you discern your purpose, remember that it is not a static destination, but a dynamic journey. It may evolve and transform over time as you grow and learn and encounter new experiences. Embrace the fluidity of your purpose, for it is a sign of your growth and progress. Furthermore, my child, do not limit yourself by comparing your journey to that of others. Each soul has a unique purpose, and your path is yours alone to walk. Celebrate your individuality and the gifts that make you who you are. In your quest for purpose, it is essential to cultivate a spirit of service and compassion. Look beyond your own needs and desires, and seek to make a positive impact on the world around you. Serve others with love and kindness, for in giving, you shall find true fulfillment. Remember, beloved child, that your purpose is intimately connected to your relationship with me. As you draw closer to me, your purpose will become clearer and your life will be filled with meaning and joy. So, embrace this journey of self-discovery with faith, hope, and love. Trust in my guidance. Listen to the whispers of your heart and serve the world with your unique gifts. As you do, you will discover the fullness of your purpose and experience the abundant blessings that await you. Go forth, my child, and shine your light brightly upon the world. You are loved beyond measure, and your purpose is waiting to be revealed. My cherished child, as you embark upon this new journey, feel the comforting embrace of my presence surrounding you. I am not a distant observer, but your loving father guiding each step you take with care and compassion. The path ahead, intricately designed by my hand, may appear challenging at times, filled with trials that test your spirit and determination. Remember, these challenges are not mere obstacles, but gateways to a life of true joy and blessed fulfillment. In moments of doubt, when fear whispers for you to halt, lean on me. I am your unwavering strength steadfast and constant. With each step you take, you move not only towards your goals, but closer to me in the divine spark within you, capable of illuminating even the darkest paths. I now ask you, my child, are you prepared to walk this path with me? 
Will you trust in the strength I provide and embrace the greatness destined for you? Let us journey together, for within me, you will find your courage, your resolve, and the unshakable promise of a crown of life. Every day, strive to better yourself, to transcend your limitations, and to fulfill your aspirations. Do not be content with your current state, but push beyond, venturing into uncharted territories and uncovering new vistas. Do not let fear deter your bravery. True courage is not the absence of fear, but the mastery over it, propelling you onward with resolve and confidence. If you are courageous and diligent, I promise to enrich you abundantly and bestow upon you the crown of life, a symbol of a life honorably lived, adherence to my teachings, and your service to others with love and compassion. Life's journey is not promised to be without hardship, but I assure you that every effort, every challenge, and every sacrifice will prove its worth. These trials will culminate in peace, joy, love, and manifold blessings. So, do not lose heart. Do not relinquish your faith. Continue with vigor and determination, knowing I am always with you, guiding and safeguarding you. Know that my love for you is eternal and unbreakable and nothing can ever separate you from it. I am always here, eager to assist you in all your needs. So, press on with bravery and determination, and great blessings and the crown of life shall surely be yours. My child, know that I am always with you, unwavering in my presence. Regardless of the circumstances you face, I have not, nor will I ever, leave your side, when you feel forsaken by those around you, remember that I, your loving Creator, am ever faithful. I crafted you with immense love, imbuing your life with a special and unique purpose. Never think yourself alone, for my love for you is boundless and eternal. I am ceaselessly watching over you. Should the world cast you aside, know that my arms remain open wide, welcoming you with unending love and compassion in your darkest moments. In times of despair and pain, I am right there beside you. If those you trust turn away, look up to me, your eternal supporter. Life may storm around you, but by reaching out to me, you will find guidance on the right path. I am your sanctuary, your strength when shadows encroach. Trust in me to be the light that guides you toward the peace and joy you deserve. No matter the severity of your trials, the depth of your pain, or the weight of your burdens, do not forget that I am here to aid you. Listen for my voice in the whisper of the wind, reassuring you of your worth and my love. You are my precious child, a treasure of incomparable value. Regardless of the world's view or indifference towards you, you are cherished. I understand the feelings of being lost, and the disorientation that may come. It is in these challenging times that your faith grows and your reliance on me deepens, for I am unchanging. My promises are steadfast, my faithfulness unwavering. Place your trust in me and I will never let you down. When loneliness and sorrow overwhelm you, come to me in prayer. Lay your burdens on my shoulders and I will tenderly wipe away your tears. While the world may overlook your distress, I am acutely aware of every sigh, every longing of your heart. Remember, I am always here to lift you when you fall, to transform your tears into smiles, to comfort you in your pain, and to infuse you with hope. Even if all forsake you, uh, I will never do so. Rest assured that as your loving Father, I will always be by your side. In my love, find your strength and weakness, solace in suffering, and guidance when you feel lost. I am your steadfast rock, your safe haven amidst life's tempests. Cling to me with all your heart, and I assure you, you will be safeguarded, for I am forever caring for you, my beloved. Know that I am always with you, unwavering in my presence, regardless of the circumstances you face. I have not, nor will I ever, leave your side. When you feel forsaken by those around you, 
Remember that I, your loving Creator, am ever faithful. I crafted you with immense love, imbuing your life with a special and unique purpose. Never think yourself alone, for my love for you is boundless and eternal. I am ceaselessly watching over you. Should the world cast you aside, know that my arms remain open wide, welcoming you with unending love and compassion. In your most challenging times, in moments of deep despair and pain, know that I am right there beside you. When those you trust turn away, lift your eyes to me, your eternal supporter. Even when life's storms rage around you, by reaching out to me, you will find the guidance you need to stay on the right path. I am your sanctuary, your strength when darkness surrounds you. Trust in me to be the light that leads you to the peace and joy you are meant to have. No matter how severe your trials, the depth of your pain, or the weight of your burdens, remember that I am here to help you. Listen for my voice in the gentle breeze, reminding you of your worth and my enduring love. You are my precious child, a treasure beyond measure. Regardless of how the world views you or its indifference towards you, you are deeply cherished. I understand the feelings of being lost and the disorientation that can come with it. It is during these challenging times that your faith grows stronger and your reliance on me deepens, for I am unchanging. My promises are steadfast, my faithfulness unwavering. Place your trust in me, and I will never let you down. When loneliness and sorrow overwhelm you, come to me in prayer. Lay your burdens on my shoulders, and I will tenderly wipe away your tears. Even if the world overlooks your distress, I am acutely aware of every sigh, every longing of your heart. Remember, I am always here to lift you when you fall, to turn your tears into smiles, to comfort you in your pain, and to fill you with hope. Even if all others forsake you, I will never do so. Rest assured that as your loving Father, I will always be by your side. In my love, find your strength in weakness, solace in suffering, and guidance when you feel lost. I am your steadfast rock, your safe haven amid life's storms. Hold on to me with all your heart, and I assure you, you will be protected, for I am always caring for you. Embrace faith and patience, for sometimes the most profound blessings come from the toughest challenges. Press onward. Remembering your purpose in this life is grander than you can fathom, transcending any hardship or earthly need. When pain and illness cloud your vision, cling to me, speak my word, and trust that I am meticulously crafting each detail of your life into a beautiful tapestry that will ultimately serve your greatest good. Do not fear tomorrow or the judgments of others. In my care, your future is secure, and all possibilities are open. Though you may not understand the full scope of my plan for you now, know it is woven with threads of love and hope. Silently, I am at work, orchestrating miracles in your life, and in due time, you will witness the fruits of my enduring love and diligence. I ask for your trust, promising that your prayers, when rooted in faith, will be answered. Within you burns the power of faith, a divine spark that allows you to see beyond the immediate, to trust in the unseen. Your faith is the channel through which your prayers reach my ears and through which miracles manifest in your life. Keep the flame of hope and the fervor of your faith alive, even as storms rage. Do not let them dim the light within you, for that light is my presence, enduring even in the deepest shadows. You are immensely loved and valued. My child, my love is boundless, unconditional, and unbreakable. Despite any mistakes or falls, my affection remains unchanged. My arms are forever open to you, offering solace and compassion. Come to me in prayer knowing I am always ready to listen. No matter the situation, no detail is too trivial, no burden too heavy for me. With me by your side, no obstacle is insurmountable. 
Trust that the miracle you seek is within my power, and I will deliver it to you at the perfect moment. Therefore, do not waver or lose heart. Maintain the faith within you, for your future in my hands is filled with beauty and blessings. Rejoice, for a magnificent miracle is on its way to you. Even in your darkest hours, I am ever present, always seeking your well being and joy. Trust in me. Today, I want you to truly understand the depth of my love for you and the significance you hold in my eyes. Know that I have been by your side through every step, aware of every thought and longing in your heart. There has never been a moment when I wasn't watching over you diligently. Even when others turned away and forgot you, I remained steadfast by your side. From your first breath, I have been committed to your happiness and well-being. Life's journey may be filled with challenges, leading to moments of discouragement and worry about the future. I am deeply aware of your fears, your inner struggles, and the daily hurdles you face. In all these moments, remember that I am with you, offering my love, a safe haven, and solace. My love for you is pure, sincere, and unwavering. It will never abandon you. Since the dawn of time, I have been witness to your greatest joys and deepest sorrows, your triumphs and setbacks. I have collected every tear, felt every pulse of your heart, and heard the quietest sighs of your soul. Nothing is hidden from me, for I am your Father, intimately familiar with every detail of your existence. Therefore, do not be troubled by uncertainty. Trust in my promise that all will be well if you follow my guidance. In my words, you will find the direction, answers, and solace you seek. Embrace my promises, hold my teachings close to your heart, and live by them to find peace that surpasses all understanding. Remember, I have an impeccable plan for your life, and although you may not see the entire scope, Know that I am crafting each detail with love and precision. Do not overlook that every challenge, every triumph, and each experience is an opportunity for growth. Even amidst adversity, I will never leave you to face these alone. My presence will accompany you in every place. Should you find yourself burdened by worries, doubts, or fears, come to me. I am your refuge always ready to bear your burdens. No weight is too heavy for me. No prayer unheard. I am keenly attentive to the needs of those who call upon me, especially you, my child. I am always here, providing comfort and strength. So, trust in me, for I am ceaselessly at work for your good. When life presents its challenges and doubts try to unsettle you, remain calm and unafraid. I am by your side ever prepared to envelop you in my enduring, unbreakable love. Never fear becoming lost in your struggles. You are an invaluable piece of my creation, crafted with the intention that you live fully, joyously, and meaningfully. Amid your concerns and battles, I call you to stand courageous and strong, placing your complete trust in me. Let me steer your journey and bless you with a peace that only I can provide. Embrace my love and reliability. Take my words as a beacon for your path, a light guiding your way. If you treasure these words in your heart and live by them, you will discover solace, guidance, and triumph over any challenge. No matter the trials or tempests you face, I assure you of victory. Do not lose heart due to fleeting troubles, for I possess the power to turn any hardship into a profound blessing to create pathways where none seem to exist. It is I who can transform your sorrow into joy and bestow upon you true contentment. When you feel overburdened or your strength fades, come to me in prayer. Place your trust in my hands. I will lighten your burdens and provide the rest you seek. There is no need for you to bear everything alone. I am here to support you. Believe in me and the promises I have made and you will find comfort amid any storm. I want to reassure you of my boundless and unfaltering love. 
no matter what transpires. Nothing can sever the bond of my affection for you. My love is everlasting, always ready to forgive and grant you countless second chances. Remember, regardless of how many times you stumble, I am always there to lift you up and propel you forward. I cherish you deeply, my child. Keep my words close to your heart and mind. And with every step you take, trust in my presence. I am with you, watching over you and crafting a future brimming with blessings. Hold steadfast to your faith and persist on the path I have set for you. Only then will you witness the transformation of your circumstances as I guide you to places of prosperity and immense blessing. You are swimming in a sea of obligations, your days brimming with tasks. But today, pause for a while and listen to me, because I have a heartfelt message to plant deep within you. Hear my voice as a soft whisper, assuring you of my constant presence and my profound plans for your life. Listen closely and accept the blessings I yearn to shower upon you, and discover how you can find peace and fulfillment regardless of your circumstances. Spare a few moments to hear my words and let them touch your heart, for I'm eager to bless you abundantly and enrich your life in ways you cannot fathom. Simply cling to my teachings, and you will see your life aligned beautifully. Now is the time, my child, to understand that my intentions for you are to thrive in all aspects and to cast aside any doubts that suggest you are destined for scarcity or that escape from it is impossible. It is time for you to embrace that my will is good, pleasing, and perfect, designed to enrich every part of your existence, to cause abundance to flow through you beyond your wildest dreams, ensuring your endeavors prosper and your efforts are richly rewarded. Each day will present its challenges. Yet within these challenges, opportunities for growth and resilience will be found. Courage will be instilled in you to overcome any barrier and steadfast confidence will be provided to bolster your faith through life's tempests. Grace and favor will be witnessed in every sphere of your life. Opportunities for career growth will be boundless. Genuine and supportive companions will be found in relationships, and health will be rejuvenated, transforming your body into a temple of vitality. Peace will pervade your being, stabilizing your days and uplifting your spirit fostering an intimate relationship with the divine. The promises given to you should be trusted, for they are steadfast and true. These promises should be believed in and held close to your heart, as they are the keys to a life filled with purpose and abundance. Even in moments of feeling lost or disheartened, it should be remembered that you are never alone. Reaching out and trusting in divine guidance is always possible. A path crafted just for you, brimming with hope, purpose, and abundance, is being revealed today. No error made can ever diminish your worthiness of love and grace, regardless of how far you may wander or how bleak life may appear. Ample grace is available to cover all faults, and mercy is eager to welcome you back. There is nothing that could make divine love cease. This love is unconditional. Eyes should be kept fixed on the divine as it is easy to lose sight of what truly matters in this turbulent and ever-changing world. You are a creation with a unique and special purpose, a divine blueprint meant only for you to fulfill. Weariness and discouragement may be felt, but it must be understood that you are not alone. Guidance towards a destiny filled with blessings and greatness is being provided. Love will continuously be with you. And it is in this presence that strength and might to overcome any challenge will be found. Even when the winds of adversity blow and circumstances appear bleak, you are not alone. Encouragement and empowerment are always present, ready to abundantly reward perseverance and dedication. Dreams held in your heart will be made a reality, and doors thought permanently closed will be opened. Gratitude is extended to you for dedicating these moments to listen to these words. Now, confidence should be taken forth. Fear of the future should be cast aside, for active work in your favor is ongoing. Although the journey might seem long 
and the goals distant, it should be remembered that grace and power surpass all obstacles. Continuation with faith and determination is essential. Trust that all efforts will be recognized and rewarded, for you are cherished and immensely valuable beyond what can be fathomed. Nothing is beyond redemption. Great promises for your life are still held. Every detail of your existence is known. Tears are counted, and nothing about you is unknown. Assistance and comfort have always been beside you, with a desire to heal wounds and restore spirit. Hard times are acknowledged, and weariness of relentless bad news is understood. Wondering when the sorrow will end is natural, as each day seems to bring greater trials. However, it should be known that eagerness to heal, restore, and lavish blessings upon you is always present. Turning away should not be an option. The voice that calls you should be heeded, and the path of redemption, where peace and joy await, should be walked. Unwavering love will always be shown, a love so pure and true that nothing done or will be done could ever diminish it. Trust in what is being told today. Love for you transcends all that can be seen. The past is not held against you. Instead, efforts are made to mend every hurt and align your life with divine purposes. A life where dreams and ambitions are realized should be imagined. A life rich and overflowing. For this is the enduring will for you. Confusion or doubt about divine presence should not exist. Even if unseen or unfelt, assistance, comfort, and blessings are always ready. Promises will never be reneged. The desire is for your ultimate good, to see you accomplish all that you envision. Negative thoughts should be cast aside, doubts dispelled, and sin turned away from. All that hinders the potential placed within you should be removed, as these obstacles bring only destruction, anxiety, and fear. Adversarial voices should not be allowed to drown out your spirit. Troubles should be brought to me, laid at my feet, and expressed in prayer. By committing your life to my care, your path will be redirected towards success, not failure. In me, the true purpose of your life, marked by peace, joy, and fulfillment, will be found. Remember, I am your God and Father, the one who rewards the obedience and bravery of his children. My words should not be disregarded today. Understanding that you are destined for blessings, and that all the heavenly riches I possess are yours to receive here on earth, is crucial. Everything you have dreamed of and requested will be granted. No obstacle or difficulty will thwart the blessings planned for you. Now is the time to confront your fears, stand firm in your life, and leave behind the burdens that have weighed you down. They should be set aside. With closed eyes, call out to me, and all your needs will be met. My constant presence should be remembered, and nothing can make you lose my love. So, despair should be cast aside. Faith should be stepped out in, and my hand should be grasped. Let guidance be provided on paths of blessing, where your greatest achievements await, and the unimaginable becomes your reality. The righteous will receive all manner of blessings. Belief and prayer should always be sought with all your heart. Holding fast to my word will result in action, for those who honor me are honored. Movement forward without hesitation is encouraged, my child. Assurance of lacking nothing should be held, as a commitment to fulfilling the promise to bless you abundantly exists. Ever observant of your deeds, each of your prayers is heard, and I am perpetually by your side. Never alone. Every breath you take and every heartbeat you feel are accompanied by my presence. Joy is shared in your moments of happiness, and support, comfort, and assurance of unwavering love are provided through your trials. Even when the path appears shadowed or life seems bewildering, I am the light that brightens your way, the compass that steers your journey, and the vigor that encourages you forward. Trust in me and my boundless love 
will show how obstacles evolve into opportunities. Challenges become valuable lessons, and sorrows transform into expressions of gratitude. Despite the hardships faced, my love for you surpasses every mistake, overcomes every fear, and heals more profoundly than any earthly remedy. No matter how often stumbling or falling occurs, I am here to lift you up and support you, reminding you of your worthiness of love and forgiveness. There is no error beyond redemption, no injury beyond healing, no anguish that cannot be converted into joy and celebration. Embracing my unconditional love is essential. Life should be steered by me, with a promise to guide you along the right path and furnish the strength needed to confront any challenge. The burdens of past missteps and guilt should be cast aside. Allow me to lead you towards a future brimming with possibility, joy, and love, where peace dominates your existence and hope keeps your spirit ignited. Let my spirit permeate your being and my words rejuvenate your mind. Within them, answers to your queries and concerns can be found. My endless love and grace are always accessible to you. Allow my presence to relieve the tension and stress accumulated thus far. Raising your hands to the heavens and embracing my strength will enable you to persist in your journey. Regardless of your past actions or inactions, forgiveness and a fresh start are always available. My love for you is boundless and eternal, unwavering and absolute, and nothing can alter that. All your burdens, worries, and fears should be released allowing me to bear them for you. Let your heart be lightened, infused with hope and joy as you rest in me. Anxieties will melt away and fears will dissipate. The shadows of yesterday should not obscure the light of today or tomorrow. Standing with courage and resolve is encouraged, for I am right beside you, fortifying and leading you to a haven of peace where harmony and tranquility flourish. Let today mark the beginning of a renewed existence. Rich with purpose and illuminated by hope, guiding you towards fulfillment and achievement. From this day forward, it should be known that you are never alone in this earthly journey. I am your constant companion, your shelter in stormy times, the light that banishes darkness, the peace that stills your storms, and the love that mends your deepest hurts. Belief in my love's power to transform your life, your essence, and your destiny should be held. Open your heart to receive my blessings, my gifts, and my endless grace. Experience the joy of being loved without condition. Hold these words in your heart as a soothing balm, and whenever they are recalled, feel my loving presence in your life, guiding, protecting, and pursuing your happiness. Your worth in the universe is infinite. This love should be accepted now and always. Your prayers have been heard, and a response is given now. It is known that you have been seeking guidance, searching for answers and solutions. Your deepest desires and efforts to achieve them have been recognized. Throughout your journey, I have been with you, witnessing your struggles and joys, listening to your prayers, and catching every tear. I have never left your side. So today, I say to you, do not fear. I am here for you, always and everywhere. Your well-being is of utmost importance to me, for I am your almighty God, the creator of all, the sustainer of existence, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. While my ways might be mysterious, trust that everything I allow in your life is aimed at your ultimate happiness. I know you intimately, my child and I understand that life's challenges can sometimes feel overwhelming, as if the trials are insurmountable. Yet remember, I am with you amidst these battles. Together, we have faced these trials and surmounted every hurdle. Be reassured, knowing that the concerns weighing on you, those seemingly intractable situations, will soon find resolution. I am orchestrating your circumstances favorably, Recall that I have a unique plan for your life. 
While I might not always provide the answers you expect or the solutions you prefer, I will always supply what you truly need. Opportunities will be presented for you to learn, grow, develop patience, and trust in my impeccable timing. Wisdom to make righteous choices will be granted. So, lift up your head, my child, and place your trust in me. For I assure you that all will be well. I am always here for you, guiding your path, supporting you in your trials, and filling you with my boundless love. Always remember, you are deeply cherished, and nothing can change that. Let me reassure you, do not be afraid. No matter the depth of your need or the complexity of your situation, I am here to assist you. Continue to pray, believe, and trust in me. Today, my love and strength are offered to sustain you through the darkest times, and my word will be the light guiding you through uncertainty. Every moment spent in conversation with me is treasured. Your journey and the troubles weighing on your heart are seen. The challenges you have been facing are known. In these next few minutes, let go of all that burdens you and listen to my words. Strength and courage are within you. You possess all that is necessary to navigate these trying times. Like the finest gold, you are refined. A splendid part of my creation. A fire burns within you. The dreams planted in you and the desires laid in your heart should not be forsaken. You are a mighty warrior. With the shield of faith, you will triumph. No force can deny the victory that awaits you. Neither height, nor depth, nor any enemy can challenge my protection over you. You have been rescued. Divine life has been breathed into you. Your weariness has been seen. And you have been lifted with my love. I have been with you, enabling you to stand here now. Consider the depth of my love for you. For it is profound and unique. The time has come to unveil the extraordinary plans I have for you. Prepare yourself for the new wonders that will be revealed. You are on the cusp of a significant transformation. Many will be amazed by you, seeing in you a vivid testament to my power, the limitless power of your God, your Father, your Shepherd. They will see my reflection in you, your countenance transformed. You are intended to be used to heal the sick and to be a blessing to those around you. Like clay in the hands of the potter, you will be shaped into a vessel of holiness and purpose. Believe in my words. They are true. Tell me you believe you are about to change. Transformation will come. Embrace it. Surrender to my work in you. Everything should be confided in me in prayer. Complete renewal will be given. Filling every aspect of your soul. The time is now. The door is opening. Do not fear what lies beyond. I am with you. Take my hand and hold it firmly. Walk with me. This path will lead you to a new life filled with blessings. Where praises of grace will be sung. Hear these words clearly and heed them. Prayers are being responded to. Love will be given regardless of the decisions made. Full support in all endeavors will continue. Protection will be ongoing. Every morning, seek me in prayer. Do not remain silent. Guidance or assistance should be freely sought. Leadership will be provided. Although things may seem unclear now, do not fixate on the immediate problems, but look towards the solutions. With me by your side, any obstacle will be overcome. Walls will crumble. And the divine promise will be achieved. Remember, Many are called, but few are chosen. Many begin this journey but falter along the way. When the path seems bleak, do not give up. Beside you, strength is being provided. But belief must be maintained, with faith even as small as a mustard seed. This victory offered to you should be embraced. The divine breath bestowed upon you should be received. No fear will be felt, regardless of the magnitude of your trial. Faltering will not occur, no matter the size of your problems. It should be affirmed now, with all your heart. It should be declared that fear will not be experienced. The heavens should be looked up to, 
soaring like eagles should be done. Where you are, my spirit resides. These words should be imprinted on your heart, for they are a testament to strength and excellence. The days ahead are pivotal, marking a new chapter. Fear should not be felt. For the Lion of Judah, your Lord and God, is with you. Courage should be taken. This trial will not defeat you. Rising, believing, and persisting should be done. For your God is with you. Though the world around you may disappoint, friends, family, and even those held dear might let you down. Wealth may dwindle, and plans may crumble. But remember this, failure will not come from me. The Holy One keeps His promises. You are loved deeply, and it will be ensured that blessings or joy cannot be robbed from you. All that has been prepared for you will indeed come to pass. Choosing today to trust in me, to wait with faith and hope for the joy I will bring into your life, should be done. Clinging to me and never doubting that my promises are yours should be done. Your heart should not be poured into people or possessions, nor into the empty promises of those who may deceive. Many will say anything to win your heart, but in a moment, everything can change. People's minds may change abruptly, and secrets long hidden in their hearts may suddenly come to light, leading to unexpected disappointments. That's why the ultimate trust should not be placed in anyone but me. My grace is enough for you. If love is needed, I am here. If loneliness is felt, I am your constant companion. If comfort is needed, my embrace should be felt around you right now. Your happiness is desired. Listening without judgment is what I do. Every mistake made is known, and condemnation is not the purpose. My life was given on the cross so forgiveness might be granted. Rising on the third day was done so that you too might rise above your circumstances. Good cheer should be taken. That frown should be changed into a smile. A mirror should be looked into. The smile placed on your face should be seen. That's how you should look while reading these words. Let my holy fire fill your being, and let your soul be inundated with the supernatural. Empowering belief in miracles. Hands should be lifted in worship. Praises should flow from your lips. Returning to me daily and absorbing my words should be done, so joy and hope can fill you as you leave your home each day. Your God will never fail you. Miracles are on the horizon in your life. Belief in me should be held. Letting you down will not occur. Your healer, provider, and protector in battle is who I am. The remedy for your discouragement is who I am. The living water for your thirsty heart. The very air you breathe each day is what I am. Lifting you. Filling you with the vigor to continue. Believe. And thrive is what I do. No one loves you like I do. No one has supported you or uplifted you as many times as I have. That's why reading my word and trusting in my promises should be done. Your struggles and pain will not be in vain. You are in the hands of your Heavenly Father, the Almighty God, the Sovereign King of the universe, the Lord of your life. A perfect plan is held for you, a plan for prosperity and not for harm. At times, the big picture may be hard to see, the challenges faced daily. The dreams and plans that have not yet materialized can be discouraging. Yet, if belief in me is held, fear should not be felt when adversity strikes, nor fleeing when the storms of life assail should occur. A warrior's heart, stronger than steel, designed for victory, has been instilled in you. When challenges arise, eyes should be opened. When difficulties appear, looking beyond them should be done. Each trial conceals a blessing. Therefore, a uh, fear should not be felt. My plans for you will be accomplished. My dreams for you will be realized. My love should be remembered. My spirit of peace will drive away all despair from your soul, filling your life with endless joy. Within you, a fierce, brilliant, inexhaustible flame will be kindled. 
purifying all impurities, destroying every barrier, and shattering the chains. My love sets you free to embrace my promises and to believe in yourself. You are my chosen one, my beloved child. You are loved, and your hand will be led to fulfill your destiny. When worries mount, when obligations overwhelm and solutions seem out of reach, my promise will provide the peace and assurance needed to persevere. Not only in this situation, but in all things. For this is commanded. The power and authority are held by me. When I decree it, your miracle will manifest. Fear should not seize you, nor uncertainty overwhelm you. When emotions cloud judgment, straying down the wrong path is easy. Tranquility and peace should be sought, for I am here to steady your heart. Worries and fears should be let go. When challenges arise, trust that any adversity will be turned into a blessing for you. Belief in my power to transform your trials into triumphs should be held. Remember, placing your trust in me is the most secure refuge and the truest path out of strife. Proclaiming it boldly should be done. Belief and trust will be held. Shaking or deterring will not occur. Pressing on with all your might will be done. And, when strength seems to falter, bowing before your God to be recharged will be done. Now, listening should be done. Seeking me, praying, and immersing yourself in my words should be done. Your answers are closer than you think. Soon, my spirit will be whispered to, revealing my will and the solutions you seek. Joy is felt seeing you worship and pray fervently, and it should be known that I long to respond to you. Your hope, commitment, love, and unwavering faith are craved. With all your heart, you should tell me now. Do you love me? Whenever sadness overtakes you, calling out to me should be done. When fear overshadows your faith, Shouting my name should be done. Wholeheartedly confiding in me should be done. Jesus, trust in me should be declared. Instantly, a response will be given, fortifying your spirit and assuring you of my love, safeguarding you and your loved ones. In those moments of feeling isolated, burdened by doubts no one else can alleviate, turning to me should be done. A pause should be taken. My embrace should be rested in and listening should be done. Gently. Guidance to a serene place, a tranquil pond, under the clarity of my gaze, illuminating and soothing the deepest recesses of your heart will be provided. The burdens carried silently are known. When trust in others is too hard, trusting me should be done. Let us cast your hidden burdens into the depths of the sea and forget them forever. And when the battle wears you down, Struggling alone should not be done. Resting in my presence will be done. The fight will be taken up on your behalf. A deeper relationship is desired. Knowing me more each day and waking each morning with the certainty of my presence enveloping and accompanying you wherever you go is desired. Helping to cleanse your mind of painful memories and doubts instilled by others will be done. They might have told you that you weren't enough that success was beyond your reach, destined for hardship, enveloped in despair. These burdens will be lifted from you, affirming your worth and brightening your path. Placing your burdens before me and feeling my hands gently rest upon your head should be done. My power flows into you, quieting the tumultuous storm within your soul. My voice commanding peace to the winds of pain. Cease to the shadows of sorrow. Dissipate will be heard. Healing is being received here and now. This truth should be accepted, and feelings of defeat and despair should be washed away from your mind. The shackles of fear and doubt no longer bind you. A spirit of joy, renewed confidence, and invigorated desire to cherish life and love your family deeply is being restored to you. Pausing daily tasks and drawing near to me should be done. This moment should be shared. Resting in the comfort of my embrace, you are cherished deeply. Sadness will not be endless. It ends today. Peace will be infused into your soul and joy into your heart. The prayers whispered are heard. Responses will surpass even your greatest hopes. 
Adversities will turn into blessings, and those who opposed you will witness my love transform their hearts. My presence will envelop your home, a tangible testament to my power that your family will witness and marvel at. Miracles, both great and small, will be performed for you out of my boundless love. Your steadfast faith, relentless pursuit of my will, even amidst the unknown, have kept your spirit alight. A sacred place has been reserved for me in your life, and your family has been taught to seek my face. Such faith and perseverance will soon lift the burdens that have weighed you down. Fear once held you, but my boundless grace and love were chosen to be believed in. My forgiveness was embraced, and my promises were clung to. Therefore, your path is being cleared. Obstacles are being removed. Foes are being defeated. Ailments are being cured, and malice is being dispelled. From this day forward, blessings will abound in your life. As these words are read, my voice should be heard resonating within your heart. Listening intently and understanding deeply should be done. My love envelops you. My spirit calls you to greater heights. Bravery should be taken. Whispers of doubt and discouragement should be ignored and preparation to receive the blessings being sent your way should be made. Even amidst turmoil, it should be known that I am with you. Though invisible to your eyes, an actively shaped future filled with blessings for you and your family is being worked on. You are held securely in my hands. Times of joy and abundance lie ahead. Doubting my plans for you should not be done. Trust in me should be like a child trusting in the embrace of a loving parent. Resting assured within my arms should be done, for you are safe. The storm may rage fiercely, and the enemy may strive to weaken your faith with biting winds, but remembering who I am should be done, your Almighty Father. Before your birth, you were chosen for greatness. You will be guided through any storm with victory. My words of power should be spoken, and the winds will be stilled. As the clouds of hardship clear, countless blessings prepared for you, like the stars in the sky, will be revealed, elevating you to new heights of wisdom and grace. Immense thriving will be experienced by you and your household. The magnitude of blessings being prepared for you has yet to be experienced. As you were lifted from the depths of your trials when you called upon me, let this ignite a passion within you to assist others beginning with your family and extending to those around you. Soon, soaring high like an eagle will be your destiny, and your influence will bless nations. This promise should be held on to, for the pain endured now will surely pass. Fervent belief and expectant waiting should be practiced. Remarkable joys are destined for you, a testament to my eternal love. Remember, Neither the voices of the past nor the shadows that seek to darken your path hold any power over you. Life has been surrendered to me, and transgressions are forgiven and forgotten, cast into the sea's abyss. Those attempting to dredge up your past to discourage and dismay you should be disregarded. They do not define you, nor do they dictate your future. The spiteful words of those wishing to see you stumble should be dismissed. Instead, your mind should be filled with my psalms and proverbs. Immersion in the living waters of my word will rejuvenate your soul and liberate you from the chains of past afflictions. Freedom will be found in my presence. Kneeling before me will break the bonds that constrain you. Time each day should be dedicated to me, witnessing the miracles I will perform within you. Your adversaries, driven by envy and malice, do not wish to see you thrive or even survive. Yet as blessings are poured upon you, their schemes will fail. Faith and unwavering love for me should be clung to. The time to realize your destiny is now at hand. Struggles and sacrifices have not been in vain. Your blessing is drawing near. It should be awaited with patience and calmness, unshaken by the tumult around you. Trust in my promise. The resolve to bless you abundantly will never waver. Your heart should be prepared. Stay close to me, and prevailing will undoubtedly occur. The certainty of my deep, 
unending love for you should always be held in your heart, my beloved. Draw near and take your place at my table. A personal invitation is extended to immerse yourself in my love, embrace my forgiveness, and occupy a cherished spot in my presence. Here lies a treasure of love, vast, unending, and pure, along with genuine affection that beautifies and enriches. From this sanctuary, streams of living water burst forth to satisfy your deepest thirst. All that is needed for a life of fulfillment is right here with me. Wandering in search of love and places that lead to pain among those who might wound you or desire your downfall should not be done. They may offer friendship at first, only to guide you into disillusionment with deceitful falsehoods. Pleading with those who cause you hurt should be refrained from. Intently listening to my voice should be done. For the grasp of true happiness in this life comes from seeking none but me. I alone can bestow the peace, happiness, serenity, and wisdom essential for your strength and joy. Liberating you from the need for validation or the insincere affection of those who demand perfection and judge harshly when faltering occurs. You were crafted to be mine, to find completeness in my presence, to always have me by your side. The invitation to hold my hand and journey toward the success envisioned for you is extended. Squandering days striving to please everyone should not be done. Many will begrudge your blessings. Their judgments should be left to me. Should they attempt to harm you, they will confront me instead. But you, dedicate your heart to pursuing me, to interceding in prayer, to caring for your family, those dear ones placed in your life. Return to my presence each day. Burdens are lifted from your shoulders today. Seeking love in the people or things of this world should not be done. In my embrace, all that is needed is possessed. Who has whispered that you are not loved? Who is leading you astray? What voices have been heeded? Remember the miracles witnessed, the joy poured into your life. Rescue from many trials and deliverance time and again has been provided. Each morning when arising, my love for you is displayed. Throughout the day, my power is evident. This is known. Remembering and being sure of my constant presence is assured. Even in those moments of doubting worth, shielding from adversaries, fortifying in the darkest hours, and illuminating the path has been done. My love for you is ceaseless. Abandonment or forgotten promises do not occur. Betrayal is not in my nature. Yesterday, today, and forever, I remain unchanging. My essence does not shift with the seasons. In the chill of the winter months, remember, I am right beside you, unyielding and steadfast. You are never alone. As the summer sun blazes above, my embrace will not wane. When the sting of sorrow is felt, know that joyous springs await. Gifts prepared for you with boundless love. The depth of care for you should be seen. My love persists, unfathomable and constant. Even if doubt clouds your heart, I am pure, and my love is everlasting. Trust in me. Do not be swayed by the deceit others try to seed within you. Your adversaries seek to make you forget your worth in my eyes, pushing you towards failure, aiming to dampen your spirit and extinguish your will to persevere. Yet today, the choice for truth is seen, leaning into my flawless design for your life despite the shadows of uncertainty and the tremor in your faith. Turning back to me, the fountain of your existence, and embracing my love with all your being will occur. In my presence alone, genuine affection and blessing will be discovered, a joy that transcends time. Honor me in your speech and actions. Vanity should be cast aside, and your words should be vessels of hope and faith standing firm in my promises, and not wavering under the weight of falsehoods or scorn, should be done. Destined for great things, places dreamt for you, should be acknowledged. But faltering by giving credence to those who would lead you astray, should not occur. My divine plan is for you to thrive, for my perfect will to unfold in your life. 
Taking this to heart is crucial, for the time is now. Clasping my hand is the only way to realize your dreams. Straying risks defeat, and without me, nothing can be achieved. Victorious, never shamed or defeated, is how you are seen. Staying within my shelter, my protective embrace, should be done. Life will bring trials meant to distract you. Yet my spirit will shield your heart from falling prey to despair, confusion, or despondency. Should a moment come when courage falters, seeking solitude and conversing with me should be done. The struggles are already known. Yet expressing burdens and laying them at my altar is crucial. Grief will be transformed into gladness, discouragement into delight, strength will be infused, and weakness banished. Together, overcoming will occur. You are never alone in this journey. With this assurance, moving forward bravely, even through the darkest paths, should be done. Courage is embodied by you, and it is your brave heart that fills me with joy. Victories, both big and small, are not just a testament to my faithfulness, but also a reflection of your devoted heart toward me. Together, Triumphs have been achieved. Through these triumphs, the depth of trust and love for me is seen. Further blessings are eagerly awaited, for faithfulness in small matters assures readiness to handle greater blessings. Praises should be lifted to me, for being the first in your life is desired. Unwavering commitment will reveal marvels beyond imagination, things unseen and unheard, prepared just for you. Because the relationship is taken to heart, a life on the cusp of transformation, filled with miracles that will restore what was once lost, is promised. This truth should be believed. Everything longed for, fervently prayed over, and deeply desired is about to manifest. Dreams will no longer be just dreams, they will become reality. Sadness should be let go, and thoughts of defeat dispelled. When challenges arise, remember, you are my child, courageous and strong. Those who doubted you will soon stand in awe of the abundant love and blessings being poured into your life. And to you, I say, profound love is felt. Imperfections and past missteps aside, you remembered me in your deepest pain, in your darkest moments, when you felt most alone. It was me who sought you out. Therefore, Placing hopes in those who forget or fail you should not be done. Staying close to me should be the focus. My love for you will be demonstrated, and entrusting me with your life, dreams, and heart should be chosen now. Never leaving your side will be assured. Even if faltering occurs, I will be there to catch you. Belief in my words and never forgetting them is essential. You are cherished. Empowerment is given. Abandonment will never occur. Everything lost will be restored because my love for you is boundless. Reclaiming what was taken from you will occur, for seeking me with honesty and humility has been done. Heartaches are known, and sometimes fear for your life is felt. But soon, clearer understanding of how deeply and truly loved you are will be revealed. Your future has always been securely held in my hands. The power to transform every adversity faced into avenues of triumph is possessed. There have been times of feeling utterly alone, where the zest for life seemed beyond reach. Yet I am here, reshaping circumstances, drawing near with a profound love, to bless you abundantly. What others intended for your downfall will be repurposed to elevate, strengthen, and enrich you. Courage should be taken, and grand dreaming dared for, with your hand in mine. There are no limits to what can be achieved. If true belief that I dwell within your heart is held, thoughts of defeat should be banished. Discouragement or failure should not find a home in your mind. Negative influences might sway you, tossed about like a ship lost at sea. Yet restoration and redemption are promised. The depth of my love and the plans laid out for you should be valued. My word should be taken as truth, scripture held in high regard. 
and living by it, embraced. My counsel should be embraced, and dwelling on the negatives of your circumstances resisted. Each day should include time to commune with me in the mornings, during the day, and before sleep. Experiences and challenges should be shared with me. Eagerness to listen and strengthen you with supernatural might is present. Witnessing miracles that will profoundly alter your path and affirm my steadfast faithfulness as your God and Father will occur. Yet more than your awe is sought. Your heart and loyalty are desired. Words from your lips that bless and uplift should be spoken. Once more, telling me that you love me should be done, quieting your heart. Letting go of today's stresses and entrusting them to me is necessary. Belief in the depth of my love is essential. The peace offered should be embraced, comfort accepted, and forgiveness received. Sovereignty over your life is held, aiding you, ensuring you are never overcome or disgraced. No adversary can harm or humiliate you. Standing tall, confident in my word, and marching forward, unafraid of those who oppose you, should be done. This truth should be embraced with faith. Strength should be gathered from my assurances. Overcoming will occur. Understanding of feeling weak at times is held, but the seeming might of your enemies should not be feared. Faith in my power will enable the conquering of giants and thwarting any who challenge you. Days filled with joy lie ahead, standing firm through trials. And if things seem contrary to your desires, Trust that they are unfolding according to my divine will should be maintained. Rejoicing in the face of conflicts should be done. Smiling and maintaining peace amidst adversity should be practiced. Nothing should be feared. For as challenges grow, blessings will multiply, and my grace will abundantly shower upon you. Standing apart in faith and determination is recognized. Choosing to persist, casting aside fear, and standing resilient in the face of trials has not gone unnoticed. Increased blessings are bestowed upon you today. The gates of heaven are open to enrich your life with peace and fortitude. The gift of wisdom is granted, and your heart is filled with hope, encouraging you to hold tightly to life's journey. Faltering should not occur. Continuing forward until dreams are realized, and joy is reveled in from my promises fulfilled should be done. Ever present with you, and soon my provision will be revealed so clearly. No doubt of my role as your provider will remain. Your prayers are heard. Your needs are known. Rest assured. Dwelling in security is assured. And all foretold for you will come to pass. No obstacle or adversary shall impede you. Any feelings of discouragement should be cast away, and the land of your blessings and prosperity should be seized. While proof of my love may no longer be sought, know that our shared journey and your growing faith are testimonies to our bond. Now, going forth is necessary, seeking me in Scripture, feeling my presence in your heart, closing your eyes, embracing the silence, receiving me, and listening as I whisper once more, I love you, should be done. This truth is demonstrated daily through the miracles and beauty of creation, through the very breath taken, and the days extended to you. So knowing me deeper is possible. Destined for a purpose, and to fulfill it, your life is infused with more days. Never let doubt lead into shadows of insecurity. Remember, always being your steadfast Savior, reaching out a hand in the darkest moments, dispatching angels to guard and rescue from despair, is assured. Security in my love is promised. Yet, humility should guide you, for pride can lead to downfall. Abundant blessings are given, not for faltering, but to continue in strength and love. Declaring your love for me should be done. Speaking it, shouting it, writing it, God, I love you. Being still and drawing near to me should be practiced. Refuge in my embrace should be taken. 
the trials and tribulations endured, the moments when things spiraled beyond control, leaving you drained, are understood. The soul's plea for rest and tranquility is seen. Worries should be cast aside. I am here with you. Confidence should be approached with. A weary heart should be laid at my feet and burdens relinquished. Seeking immediate solutions should be paused. Today, only my embrace is needed. My love is sufficient to soothe and grant the peace so deeply desired. Responses to your requests will occur. But first, let tranquility be restored within you. All should be left to me. Handling it will be done. Today, all anxieties should be given to me. Full trust should be learned, placing into my hands those matters beyond your control. My precious child, closing your eyes and resting, should be done. The quietness of my presence will bring back the joy yearned for, stabilizing emotions. Being well and strong is necessary, for challenges will come like wheat in the wind. Trials will try to shake and break you, yet, Fear should not be felt. This forewarning is not to frighten, but to prepare. I am your shield, and your escape will be provided. Harmful thoughts should be cast aside. Negativity should not dwell in your mind, and despair should not speak through your lips. Everything should be entrusted to me, and rest taken. Feeling my hand tenderly upon your head, easing all tension, instilling peace and patience, should be done cherished and protected in my embrace as any newborn. You are. My love should be received, and as rest is taken, strength and wisdom will be empowered. Standing firm will be ensured, and no one will steal your joy. Peace should be maintained, and affirming to me in your own words that worry will no longer occur should be done. Deep love is felt. A feast of blessings is being set for you. Even in the sight of your foes, and elevation before all nations is promised. My guidance should be heeded, faith should be had, obedience should be practiced, and patience maintained. Future worries should not be fretted about. Endurance and trust in my providence should be focused on. I am your Father and your God for a reason. The time gifted each day is not meant for worry. If anxiety overtakes you, it pains my heart for it mars the love offered, bringing sorrow to your spirit and affliction to your body. Yet, understanding is held. In moments of weariness, when feeling lost and control slips through your fingers, remember, I am ever by your side. Judgment is not brought but friendship offered, to be your solace and the cure for all your ails. Those that physically pain and those that emotionally torment. In your distress, an answer is given. In peril, shielding occurs. In need, support is promised to you, your family, and all your generations forever. Faith, honesty, obedience, endurance, and resolve are sought. Fear should not be felt, for I am with you always, my beloved child. Amen. A journey of faith and inspiration should be embarked on with 365 days of God's messages. Each day, a passage will be discovered that will uplift your spirit, guide your steps, and deepen your connection with me. This ebook is not just a collection of words, but a daily companion to accompany you through every season of life, whether comfort, wisdom, or encouragement is sought.